Hey, good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and comic art fans of all ages. Welcome to the 84th episode of the Dueling Dealers of Comic Art. I'm your host, Bill Cox. For those new to the show, the format is so simple, structured like a prize fight to a cr original, they, they are original, comic art dealers will present comic art for sale that is either new to the market or priced to sell. The dealer with the most sales by the end of the show is crowned tonight's champion. During tonight's main event, there will be 10 rounds of mayhem, with each dealer bringing 20 artworks for sale. Artworks presented in rounds one through four will be priced $1,000 or less. Five through eight will have artwork priced $2,000 or less, and anything goes in rounds nine and 10. Each dealer will be given 90 seconds per round to present both their pieces of art in rounds one through eight and two minutes in rounds nine through 10. In total, 40 artworks will be available for tonight uh, to purchase, if you like. As always, viewers are encouraged to be a part of the show by engaging in friendly conversation in the YouTube chat. And if you're watching on YouTube, please karate chop that like button tonight. Subscribe to this channel and turn on notifications so that you never miss a single show on the Comic Art Live channel. To claim an artwork you want to buy this evening, type your claim in the chat in the following format. Claim 1A-Mike or claim 7B-Anthony. In other words, the word claim followed by the round number and the letter A or B, a dash, and then the dealer's first name. Each time a dealer presents an artwork for sale, the exact claim phrase will be on the screen just above the art description. Please try to claim an artwork during the dealer's round, but if you miss that window, you can claim the artwork at any time during the rest of the show. You will have one last chance to purchase artwork during the Ragnarok recap at the close of the show where the dealers are more open to wheel and deal if the duel is indeed a close one. It is worth mentioning that both dealers will accept reasonable time payments for most artworks you will see made available this evening. Since this is the internet, there can be technical issues. When several people try to claim the same artwork at the same time, your browser may not order your chat in the same order that we see it here in the studio. Our view of the chat is ordered properly, and we will make the decision for whom has claimed the artwork. During a dealer's round, you are allowed to make an offer on the original artwork presented, but the dealer is not required to respond, reply, acknowledge, or accept this offer. But trust me, they are always courteous and will say something. Uh, but always try to be courteous to, to them and only message dealers who are currently presenting their art for sale. After the show, be sure to contact one of the dealers or both of the dealers if you've claimed any of their artworks. Let them know which artwork you claimed, give them your mailing address, and please include your YouTube or Facebook handle. Let's get ready to wheel and deal! Of comic art. Hey. Oh, you're on mute there, sir. And Mr. Berkey is not in the green room. You're still on mute, Anthony. You can keep screaming all you want, but your mic is muted. I was screaming Still for Sharon to come in, and uh, I forgot to unmic myself. So, default win. Yay! Yeah, there you go. Thor needs a tan, says Mr. Red Jack. Isn't that the truth? And that's your uh, backyard means. Wow, what a backyard. That's yeah, yeah. I hope nobody was watching me while I was out there running around today. That uh, would not be a good first impression <laughs> for the neighbors. <laughs> So, uh, yes. So, so Mr. Berkey, I don't know where he's at. I haven't uh, texted with him in a while. I think the last time I texted with him was around six. So who knows? Maybe he's fallen back asleep and uh, we'll see what happens. But we'll just have to get things started without him. Oh, and, no. uh, Did he get his pacemaker turned on? That wasn't a pacemaker. That was uh, to help him sleep better. Yeah. So, so, yes, Jeff Moy, you've got it right. Guess Anthony's going first. We don't have a choice for that tonight. Uh, and it is a big backyard. You know, five acres is what we got here in Florida. So. Wonderful. With a lot of bugs. No one saw you yeah. around. Don't worry. <laughs> Lots of bugs. 
Uh, Alberto, I cannot sell Mike's art for him, unfortunately. No, Stanley, I know every, everybody would like to see that, but I can't do it. I mean, that's come not, on, uh, Bill. You can. I don't do know it. what is. I have no idea. If, you know what I'm will, What he what he would want me to go down uh, with these prices on. So I, I can't do it. And he's got good stuff tonight. It's it would be a shame if he uh, has some issues tonight and can't get in here. So uh, okay. And he, <laughs> so yes, Anthony would get a victory. All. Uh, you just, hey, you know, I've been doing yeah. good. I don't need uh, I don't need charity here. Come on, yeah. I, well, I don't know. I didn't say it was charity. I just said you might, you could get a victory tonight all by your lonesome. So uh, uh, let's see. I, well, I, I think we don't need to do the clip. Do you, what are you calling, Mike? Yeah. <laughs> he may be asleep. I'll tell you, he was up all day uh, and all night. He uh, he had some people doing some work at his house, and I know that when I. Did text with him i think he had only slept for like an hour or two so oh, it wouldn't come on get on the show <laughs> did he answer it up. did he actually answer is he in bed he's five he's come on all right <laughs> he's awake now all right he's all right all right well all what right. we'll do what we'll do is I'll we'll just play if you want. Yeah, we'll just play through some rounds, and uh, and when he joins in, we'll let him get caught up. How's that yep. sound? That's great. Yeah. <laughs> Brett Mixon says, start with the cake break. <laughs> oh, my God. Ready. It's not ready. <laughs> Her flight got canceled yesterday, so she just flew in this afternoon, and uh, uh, it's hectic uh, cake break. Uh, it's not ready, but oh, well. But we you forgive Sharona for break. the... Being with her dad and helping him convalesce from his surgery. Hi, Dad. He's watching. Oh, awesome. Hey. Oh, what? No, oh, no, no. Okay, you want to start? Yeah, we, I think we should just jump right in. Uh, you know, that works for me. <laughs> Dina is offering to sell Mike's art tonight. Sight unseen. Uh, no, he says he'll be in. He'll be in. Uh, he hasn't texted me, but he's talked to Anthony. So we know that uh, he will join us as soon as he is up and about. So I should have called him. That's my fault. I just figured he was taking it uh, taking it slow tonight. Uh, all right, let's get this thing going here, Anthony. So it's we're doing ninety seconds. Oh, give me five. <laughs> yeah. So as everybody right. remembers, there's two pieces of art per round for everybody. So A's and B's are needed for every single round, and uh, we, we we give uh, both guys uh, what ninety seconds each for the first eight rounds, and I'll give you two minutes each for the last two because I know there's some good stuff in those last. Uh, two rounds for both of you tonight. So I'm uh, cosplaying as a good husband. You're doing a good job of it. <laughs> All, All right. right, let's get this thing going here. Round one for the Snyder Man. Let me get. Oh, his do you want to do an obligatory uh, flip uh, for the recap, or or I just go first? How about we flip at the we flip at the recap, or do you just yeah, want to first do that? All right. All right, that works for me. All right, Anthony, here you go. Let's get your one A artwork queued up and on the board. Here All right. Go. Now, I, I'm trying to establish a tradition of a me and Sharon page. So there <laughs> she is, the beautiful showgirl. Look at her. And with her big galoot gorilla. So this is uh, 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 by one of my favorite in the uh, in the genre, Bill Wogan. Who's better than Bill Wogan in the Archie wow. Pep? Uh, and look at that beautiful showgirl <laughs> with her big monkey. Yay. <laughs> so that's uh, a me and Sharon page. It's large art. Circus Gorilla saves Katie Keenan of wearing her fishnets with Sharon eyes. Oh, my God. That last that last panel was so perfect for the show. Uh, that's really great. Look at that. Yeah. Lots of fun. All, All right. right. Let's show your next artwork here. So sticking with the humor theme in uh, sorta, but this is uh, more movie TV related. Uh, we got a Jose Delbo. This is, does it have a date on it? Uh, 1967, yeah. So the monkeys were huge. They were bigger than the Beatles in 67, right? So it's got all four of them on it. Really uh, fun. This hey, is- uh, with the monkeys. Da, 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 da. around. Yeah, and uh, uh, this is a, a little uh, weird sized tape measure. How weird is it, Anthony? Uh, weird, it's weirder. Ten by. It's a little. Uh, yeah. Can you see, I can't see. 
It's like 11 by 14, really. Not, yeah, not seven, not, too weird. not 11 by uh, 17, but 11 by 14. Yeah. That is a little peculiar, but it is, uh, well, it's hard to say why they would have done that. It's what yeah. they had in the office at the time. All right. Well, we're going to keep moving this thing on to round two here for Mr. Snyder. You ready, Anthony? I think uh, this is uh, your pencil art round, you if you doing? had a theme on this one. Yep. Okay. Well, no, the, one's pencil and one isn't. A one isn't? Okay, I couldn't tell. All right, no, here we go. You want this one? Because it's, it's Thor swishing his hammer oh, around, trying to get rid now. of the mutant mosquitoes yeah. from his backyard. Yeah, All we right. got some, some of those here. All right, 2A4. All right, this is a hot current artist, Ben Oliver, and it's a really complicated... Oh, man, I should have taken it out of the... That's going to take an hour okay. to take it out of the way. All right. Oh, look at that. Batman. Ben Oliver. Awesome. Cool. Yeah. Ooh, nice so, detail on that one. Yeah. yeah. Lot, very complicated uh, uh, Batman bust with uh, the bat signal and really grimacing. I'm a very good time. Batman. Batman. What size is that one, Anthony? <laughs> That's uh eight by ten? Eight and a half. Eight and a half by eleven. Eleven and a half. Eight and a half by eleven and a half. Oh, look at that. Ben Oliver, very hot right now. Oh, there we go. Thank yeah, you, Ty it. Parker. That Thank was a good value when you see it. These aren't easy to come by by the Thank Ben you, Oliver. Ty. Yay. Woohoo. That's yours. Remember to email me uh, any t at any time, and I'll send you a PayPal invoice. The Anthony's takes the PayPal. Thank you, Ty. Next up, Scott Koblish, Thor, Thank swinging okay. his hammer. From is, oh, look at him swishing around, trying to get rid of those mutant mosquitoes. Do you like this one, Bill? Do you like it? Claim it. Claim it. Uh, I'm, I'm sticking with the published artwork at the moment. Art on the back, too. Claim it. You need some art for those walls. <laughs> art on the back. Come on. Yeah. We're in the money. We're in the money. <laughs> you are in the money. That was one of our first memes we ever did together. This. I want to take some more time. I, I got nobody rushing me. I know. But, but, well, we got to keep it rolling, though. You, 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 you took that long pause there when I had the art on the screen. It was up there. You just weren't talking about it. Uh, yeah. Oh, after the other one got. Yeah, cut. I put it up there right away. So there a fun it is. style. Uh, this is like a cross hatching style of the entire figure uh, by Scott Koblish, who's uh, very, you know, had a very substantial career through the two uh, thousands. <laughs> we need a sleeping Berkey meme. We don't have one of those, do we? No, we don't. I'm trying to think. No, we don't have a sleeping Berkey meme. We have a sad Berkey meme, but not a sleeping one. You got me snoring with we that uh, sheet sheet pan of cake. Remember that one? That oh yeah, and we broke the ice thanks to Ty. Thank you so much for that. Yeah. Thank you, Ty. All right, well we're moving over to round three here with the Snyder Man in the lead. <laughs> <laughs> there is this three A artwork. Well, at least I'm not artwork. not selling anything like uh, my opponent did last week. He didn't sell an entire. He went with a what would you call that? A golden sombrero. You could call it that, but you're going to go with one if you don't start talking about this artwork. Oh, oh, yeah. Okay, so oh. this is another curated debut by Al Hartley. Look at this. It's got the girls. <laughs> it's got three versions of Sharon. Oh, look at her. But I like the the foreground version best. Oh, Well, Patsy awesome. and Hetty. And, and uh, they're all grooming themselves and making pretty. Uh, and it's one of those pages where the... Uh, the fans wrote in and designed outfits. Sharon, you're blocking my face. Hey. It's my camera time. My face. <laughs> my goodness. My face must be present. <laughs> Look, Patsy and Hetty. That's what they want in the audience. I can tell you that. Yeah. <laughs> All right, next. Yeah. I don't I, I'm not sensing a theme with this round. Oh, Anthony. because we had an issue and there was this was a replacement. Uh -huh. That's that's very perceptive of you, Mr. Cox. Yeah, well, it is. Or, or I was trying to figure out one and I just couldn't. But this no, is by Scott McDaniel. Okay, so uh, there was a theme, but uh, uh, the it piece the piece that I uh, had in this uh, in this slot mm, 
there were, uh, maybe it was a uh, blue line. So I took it out. Got uh, it. Yeah. So now we get a lethal foes by Scott McDaniel for $750. Are you kidding with St Stegron on it? Are you kidding? Oh, man. People love Stegron. We You're like not the, kidding. the You're living not dinosaur. Kidding. It's from 1993. This is cool. It's very cool. Sign. It's very everything. good value Spidey. for Scott McDaniel. Spidey signed very nicely and a good action uh, uh, shot of Spidey swinging in. Action, action. And I will rule them. Ding, Wrong. Ding, 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 ding. Huh? I'm, I'm ringing the bell since you're 30 seconds over now. Okay. Over what? We're moving got, that around we're four. Taking we turns. Still, we got a blank screen here. Yeah, but we still have to. Mike, we, still have, Mike. we still have a schedule to follow, sir. Blanky. This oh, isn't good. a free for all night. Ah, uh, as much as you'd like to have a free for all night. I love free for alls. Yay! Mm -hmm. Sure, I do. All hey, right, let's round talk four. About the show last weekend. Round four. That's not what this what this show is all about. Four A on the screen. Here we go. I all sent right. a, so I sent this one. This one definitely this has a theme it because. Does. Theme: Hetty chugs with Patsy Spidey slugs <laughs> with pasties or Patsy's. Yeah. I'm sorry. Hey Dino, that's thanks you for the uh, the uh, the humor. We appreciate it, and thanks for the business at the show. Yeah. Dino gave me some business at the show. Thanks. So let's talk hey. about this Charlie Adlard Walking yeah. Dead okay. issue this 23 is page. It's got Mr. Grimes and Tyrese on it. Yeah. yeah. Walking dead. What's better than having Rick Grimes and he's looking all grimy? Yeah, Grimes, 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 Grimes. Rick Grimes, if you're a fan of the show, nice Walking Dead page. And I I just picked these up. These are curated to butts. And they're 11 by 17, not the smaller versions that came later. Uh -huh. This is pen pencils and inks on boards and lots of Rick Grimy. Grimy, grimy. Oh, Rick well, here's Grimes. the other one. It's also by Charlie from issue 35. It's got All Glenn right. and Maggie. All right. Now this one, if you were a fan of the show, you know it's kind of uh, an important page. This is where Glenn and Maggie get together in the prison. Wow, that was a big, big, uh, big uh, romantic uh, uh -huh. get together on the show. It was huge. Uh, for Maggie and Glenn getting together and uh, falling in love. And, uh, you know, didn't they get married, sort of? Until Negan smashed his head in. Yeah, don't talk about that. Wipeout. That was a wipeout for Anthony. How um, much? What? I got an offer. Oh, sorry. I wasn't even looking. Okay. Jason has offered you $500 for the four. Uh, for the hookup page of Glenn and Maggie when they get together. This is a big point in the show. You were at uh, seven, 750 and Jason's offering you 500 even. And I can do seven on this one. This is an important one. I like that one. Yeah, yeah Maggie. All oh, right. Well, Anthony's lowering his 4B to 700 for the moment. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Alberto, he did spoil it for you, didn't he? <laughs> Which one? Uh, Al Alberto said Glenn dies? Question mark. So yeah, oh. and that's when the show died. They lost don't, like. Don't talk about it. Spoiler alert. I yep. think that was the last time I watched an episode. Uh, all right, on to round five, Anthony. Wow, twenty minutes late. Here we go. At least we know he's okay and he's comfortable. Steve right. Upting. This is a really strong piece. I almost didn't want to put it up. Look at this. Steve Epting, 11 by 17 Batman commission. This is the best commission I've ever seen by this, oh. by the Epting. The Look best one? Oh, you can't see it because of the glare, but you can see it on the screen there. That's so cool from you 2003. I don't think we need to. Do you think we need to? You like it. Oh, look at that. It's all kind of done in side pencil. Really uh, yeah. kind of a little uh, soft, uh, softer pencil feel, but beautifully accomplished by a, uh, you know, a modern master, a guy who's uh, worked his... Uh, Is that a tiger in, there? That's in a tiger. Captain America. Well, it's kind of, yeah, it's a tiger, tiger gargoyle. A tar, a tiger, it's a Tigarian. 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 
Next, we have this great Lee Bermejo Joker commission for $1,500. Yeah, this really, wow. This, this, this job that he did, the, uh, the graphic novel that he did of the Joker, just keeps getting bigger and bigger. Uh, I remember buying a bunch of pages from Inker Mick Gray, and I wish I would have kept them. Uh, they just... The examples just uh, keep going up and up. So a nice commission from the Bermejo is available here at 15, 15 hun, uh, for the Lee Bermejo. Crickets. What was the size on that uh, Bermejo again? Uh, the figure is uh, eight and a half inches and it's on an 11 by oh, 14 wait, board. That? Okay. Got it. Yeah. That is a nice one. Well, it's on nine and a half board. by, it's a weird European size, I think. Nine and a half by 11. Do but, they actually make, uh, you know, drawing tablets in different sizes? Yes. In Europe? It's oh. different. Yeah. Cause it's in centimeters. Go back and we'll see, let's see how many centimeters it is. Oh, it's Come on. No, we don't need a less than it. Come on, <laughs> come on, centimeters. Let's do centimeters, Bill. Uh, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, it's 25 centimeters by 32. That doesn't make sense. Okay. There you go. See, <laughs> so we didn't learn anything. All right, moving on along to uh, round six. Anthony, he uh, he's still in the lead, everybody. Anthony is in the lead. So look at his six. Come on, I should have a bunch of sales. I got no competition. Six A is on the screen, and I know we've got. All right, uh, what kind of theme do we have here, Mister William? I'm not going to spoil it for anybody. Oh, we got the Doctor Doom theme. Yay! Uh, now we have the Doctor <laughs> Doom by Bagley and Rubenstein. <laughs> this is a pencil and ink combination page. So you have the pencils by the Bagley, and you have the inks by the Rubenstein. Pencils. And Kang, and Annihilus. Wow, all three of them. Three great Marvel villains, uh, the best of which being the Doom. Doom. And you have the, the Bagley and the Kang. And you have a hot, hot villain and Annihilus. They're all hot villains. If you're a villain, a villain collector, what a trio is right. Look at that. So you have the pencil and the ink page giving you a rest at... It's not blue lines. You have the pencils and then you have the inks. Yay! So you have the, the, the two-piece. Oh, and then... A two-piece set. Sharon looks good in a two-piece. We've got this great Paul Gulacy Penance Relentless yes, cover, 64 from 2008. It's $1,800. Take it away, Anthony. Here he is. <laughs> Take it away. You're doing so Keep well. It. Go ahead, Mr. Mr. I can read a teleprompter. Mr. Mr. Oh, look at this. Look at that. Finished art by Paul Gulacy. <laughs> fan favorite. And of the doom. I really like Over his, his style. castle. So neat. Yeah. And you got those Snow bloodshot eyes. Down. It's a very nice piece. That really is. Would you like that one, Bill, on your back wall? Because your wall needs art. I've got a Doctor Doom mask back there. Yeah, it needs a nice oh Doom. I can go with it. <laughs> you need some Jeffrey. Doom. Jeffrey says Anthony doesn't have the stamina to, to sell for six straight rounds. He needs a breather. No, sell you're it. not. I can yell as many rounds as you want. I'm sure you can. Let's not let's not make a challenge out there for an Anthony. He'll he'll uh, take us to town. Yeah, town. who that is? It is very Christmassy. It's like you got the snowfall and come to my castle. Let's open presents. The you know the Doom bots. I'll give you some uh, action. And there it is. There it is. Have, wasn't wasn't last night daylight savings time? No, <laughs> you'd still be 25 minutes late. Oh, no, I'd be a half hour early. <laughs> you thought you were going to be a half hour early. All hey, right, well, welcome I... to the show, Mr. Berkey. Hey, everybody. Hello. I can't believe I slept through my alarm clock. I thought about calling you, but I thought there's no way he's going to still be asleep. I know you had a you had a lot of stuff going on over there. Oh, it was horrible today. Yeah, I had this 
Security guys out in the. It's no excuse though, but I'm here. All right, well, we got yeah. six oh rounds. God. We got through six total rounds, so we're gonna have to drop you all the way back to round one. Okay, okay, I'm, I got everything already. All right, okay, we can do this in the uh, in the studio. Please switch us back to round one, and there we go. See, I, all right, I Mike, wake up that. and Thank smell you, the roses. And... Oh, happy days, folks! Happy days. Happy I'm days. Work on my cake. Okay. okay. Well, that's a good idea. Hey. Sharon, you get a few minutes there. All right. Okay, well, we Mr. Berkey. Cake break earlier. Well, we wait we, we, we till round eight. Okay. You know how we you know how we do. All right, Mike. Here we go. Round one to you, and here is your one A artwork. Very cool, folks. Check out this first piece. Paul Mounts. Now he was the colors for Marvel, but this is all painted from the 1994 Fleer Marvel Universe Power Blast card number three of nine. Uh, matted 10.25 by 12.25 art images, 6.25 by 8.25, and signed by Paul Mounts at the bottom. Really, really nice. And we have a claim. Holy moly, we have a bunch of claims. Yes, we do. We had uh, three in a Well, wow, four in a row. All right. Uh, Robert got in before Paul Pappas on that one. And uh, James and Chris and Maki Pupu. So, all right, Mike, let's go ahead and show your one B artwork. Thank that you, Robert. That was Second one. Wow, wow, very first issue, a birth page sort of from Lois Lane number one, Gray Morrow, pencil and inks, really a beautiful looking page with Lois Lane throughout from the 1986 from the story titled When It Rains, God is Crying, chapter one, ignorance was bliss. Lois Lane throughout the entire page in the Daily Planet trying to get an important story put on the front page of the Daily Planet. But it's pencils and inks by Gray Morrow, which is sort of cool. It actually looks that the detail on this one is actually really, really nice. Uh, but it's from the first issue of the Lois Lane series in 1986. Wow. So that's the first one with his editor and the girl she knows and everything. Uh, uh, so, but first issue, 1986. So we're talking 30. It's a doozy. <laughs> it's a doozy. So that well, you, was broke, you broke the ice for yourself pretty quick there, Mr. Burke. Yay! That's not fair being 25 minutes late and like, getting a 1A claim. Come on! <laughs> In the first Yay. couple of seconds. Well, it was, a, it was a desirable piece priced right. So uh, thank you, Robert, for that. Uh, quick pickup. And everybody else is trying to get it. Oh, am I doing round two or no? No, yeah, you're going straight through. We're going, you got to okay, go all the way through round okay. six. So uh, let me just go ahead and switch this over and get in round two. I had an Mike. offer. Can we address it? Oh, oh, good. Go to his oh, offer. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm sorry. I did highlight it and I didn't. Uh... Okay, yeah, it was from uh, Comic Con. Oh, 6 a. Comic oh. Boston was offering you $800 on your 6A, Anthony. You, you know were... what? I'm just going to do it. I want to say $850, but I'm just going to do it for, just to get off, uh, get ourselves right. to a better start. All right, so okay. Comic Art Boston is picking up Anthony's 6A artwork. That was uh, the Bagley, Bagley Dr. Yep, that's the 13 page, exactly, with all the bad guys on it for $800. Thank you, Comic Art Boston. All right. So let's go ahead now, Mike, and get you started on round two. And where are you? There we go. Okay, Phil round Hester. two. Very cool page. Uh, Phil Hester from... It's called Batman Strange Adventures, number one, page four. Really nice. Phil Hester, ink by Eric Capster from the story titled Dinner for Two. It's a great story of Batman uh, getting clues on the Riddler on Valentine's Day. But it's a published page, and there's the published image there on the bottom right. Yeah, but really cool. Big Batman at the top. Hester and Gapster. Really nice. The Batman and the Batman leaping there on the left side, and then Batman right there, and then Batman right at the bottom. Sort of very Miller. This is actually the school teacher for the Riddler. He's trying to get clues on what the Riddler's going to do next. She, and Batman goes to the school teacher, uh, the Riddler's school teacher, to get clues. So published page four fifty. Batman in every panel. Check out this semi splash. Mahmoud Asrar. It's pencils and inks and wash tones. Published piece. Really nice three-quarters splash. At the top, Supergirl is saving uh, the Silver Banshee at the bottom. Then she flies and shoots right through the body of the Black Banshee, who is Garrett Smythe. 
Really nice two-thirds splash page from Supergirl number nine from 2012. Ten years old. And again, there's the published uh, splash there on the bottom right. Two great panels, man, with Supergirl throughout. Really nice. It's almost a semi-splash on both. So very cool on those. Yeah, both pages are really nice. Great action, man. On a Supergirl, I know it's so hard to find. I thought, eh, for for 500 bucks, I thought a good splash page there would be nice to show. All right, so we're going to move over to round three, Mr. Berkey. And uh, got some older pieces here. Not not as old as Anthony's uh, uh, lady ladies' artwork. But uh, let's take a look at Mike's round 3A. Here we go, Mike. Very cool. Check this out by Dick Giordano from the 1980s. It was a... Uh... It's published, has all the reduction notes, but Batman and Robin about safety. Uh, it's really cool. Safe driving habits are everyone's responsibility, so be a superhero and belt them for safety. It's the way to be prepared. While on the trail of the penguin, Robin makes a rash decision. I'm unbuckling my safety belt now, Batman. I feel more comfortable. Hold it, Robin! <laughs> I'm in the driver's seat, so your safety is my responsibility! I mean, your safety is my responsibility, said Christian Bale, Batman. <laughs> I sense a you meme in our future. Before. <laughs> Very cool and signed by Dick Jr. It's from the 1980s. Well, that's that's a classic right there. Yeah, so I thought that I thought that was a funny ad. And signed by the great Dick Jr. Not a bond drawn on on a DC uh cover stock board also. All right, and here is your next one. Cover stock board on the back. Um, it's uh, drawn 11 by 17, born 9.5 by 5 inches, the actual image. Now, this is really cool, folks. This is drawn on one of, one of, one of Gil Kane's posters. The guy I got this from got this from him in 1977, which was the first year of John Carter, Warlord. I, I couldn't believe it. I looked up the book. I go, just like the splash. But a great John Carter, done on 11 by 17, Gil Kane's own poster board. And I believe this is done in 77 or 78. The guy actually got this from John, uh, John, uh, uh, it's pencils and ink to marker. But the, again, this is within the first year of the John Carter, uh, book, which Gil Kane drew the entire first issue. The green Goliath cannot handle his mead like the mighty Thor. Hulk smashed. <laughs> Maybe that's why he was 25 minutes late. Oh, Mr. Berkey oh, does not drink. <laughs> really nice piece. And it looks just like a recreation of John Carter number one, folks. I thought that was pretty cool. And done on Gil Kane's little posters. Uh, this is like an, a two-ply artboard. So it's still pretty, pretty thick. So, But pencils and inks, you can see the pencils underneath everything. Very nice. I like and that Batman one is pretty funny. Though, we have, right to, do, we have to do a safety meme out of that. I, I, I still got the Robin costume around here somewhere. Bill of Robin. And it has the production, even has the production stamp on the back of it. So, All right. Okay, I Mike. It even says on the back four movies, so it's probably from the 80s. I don't know if they did it for the movie or not, but I thought that was pretty cool. So, It is very cool, Mike. Okay. Ready for Next round up, four? Four A. Here we go. I've sold every one of these I've had. This is one of the best ones. You know those superhero stamp albums book? Beautiful, full splash with everybody on it. Everything is art except this little stamp here is a little stamp. It's from the they're they're doing the the, the decade of the 1940s. So so this is the uh this is the superhero stamp album from 1999, the splash, pencil by Dan Jurgens, ink by Joe Rubenstein from the story Celebrate the Century, the 1940s. Ten heroes on this one. Robin, the Adam, Dr. Light, Supergirl, Batman, Gangbuster, Superman, Black Lightning, Plastic Man, and Wonder Woman. All art on there. Beautiful. It even has on the back of it all the production notes and everything for century of this and this and the dates. So very, very cool on the back of it. But beautiful splash. I had one that wasn't nearly as good as this on our show for 800 bucks, and it sold a couple months back. But I thought that one's up. And some of them are, a lot of them are paneled. This is a full splash and signed by Dan Jurgens at the bottom. Next one, DC comic book. Uh, this is Infamous number six, the front cover. I'm not familiar with the title, but Infamous number six, 
front cover, Ed Bennis pencil, Ed Bennis pencils, and uh, George Gonzalez ink from 2011. Really nice cover finale to the mini series, where the fate of the city hangs in the balance as electric superhero Cole McGrath faces Kessler's most horrific creation, a giant monstrosity. Graphite and ink on 11.75. Beautiful. And I thought you had the published cover there too, Bill. Uh. Sometimes your published images don't but anyway, come okay, right. but anyway, it's a published DC cover, Ed Bennis. And that's yeah. a ma ma makeshift stack because the book came out later. book was in 2011, so this is 11 years old. Right, they said it's from a video game, right? Yeah, A really nice Ed Bennis there. cover, just 1200 bucks. All right, $1,200 on Mike's 4B artwork. So let's keep him going here. We got two more rounds to get caught up to. Anthony, so over to round five now for Mike. Okay. Oh, I should have run over my, my my helmet. For you Iron Man fans, this one's a doozy. Rich Buckler, look at that. The two Iron Mans. Believe it or not, Tony Stark is the guy in the jet as two Iron Mans are battling each other. Are you kidding me? From 1985, Iron Man 196, page 17. Penciled by Rich Buckler, inked by Brian Garvey. Real nice to... Uh, original Iron Man's battling, and Tony Stark is actually in the jet trying to battle both of them because somebody took over all the all of his robots, and that, that and uh, so there they are, and that's Tony Stark in the plane uh, trying to battle the robots. But I see where one of the Iron Man's is saying an Avengers plane, so one of them is a robot, the other one is somebody inside of it. I think it's actually Rhodey inside of the one battling the other one. So. So uh, okay. Yuri 406 has claimed, uh, usually you, make sure you use the A's and B's though, Yuri, but we know which one you're talking about. So uh, let's go ahead and show your 5B artwork, Mike. And 5B, oh, this is beautiful. The great Simon Bisley. Look at this, mixed media pinup, how beautiful. Uh, Gorilla and Naked Girl, this is from 2008. This is done on uh, a 12 by 16 inch artboard from 2008. Simon Bisley depicting a nude fee, very sexy nude female and a gorilla. Um, it's rendered in mixed media on 12 by 16 inch airport. It's a beauty. So that's that's that one there. For those of you who can't see it, now you can see it really large. What's the size on that one, Mike? Yeah, 12, 12, uh, 16 by 12. 16 by 12. Monkey Bisley. <laughs> <laughs> so that's uh five all right all right by simon bisley well thank you yuri for that, that pick up. one more and i'm caught up or that yeah, is correct you got right. to go first you didn't have to flip a coin huh no we did we said we fit, said we would flip a coin in for the recap mike How's oh that okay sound? that's interesting okay yeah something you know give okay. it a, give it a little and, bit of uh, fun anthony already did six or he's on six He's done six, so okay, you're so gonna you'll be caught up way. after you do this round right oh, here. Okay, these are some cool ones here. All right, let's get uh, your six. You eight, have uh, something in the oh, chat. Just claimed oh. five B. Oh, oh, sorry, I was uh, in the other window there. Uh, where are we at? Steve C claimed five B. Got it. Thank you. Sorry about that, Steve C. Thank you, Steve. I was switching between windows and did not see it, but I see it now. It's a Thank gorgeous you. piece by Bisley. I said, if it, the bigger pieces like this go for like five and six grand of his, so I think that's a cool piece. Now, what's on the border there? I mean, it's hard to tell because, and I know you're. Is, yeah, is I that, know they did it. He sprayed it with ink, I guess, on the outsides, but it's all it's all just ink outsides. Cool. It's done on two ply board, so. It's. Bizteality. And you can oh see my goodness! Goes through that's the back of Thank it. Thank you, Anthony. I used to own that one. I had that one. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you, Steve C. and Yuri for well, thanks, Steve. a uh, a clean sweep in, in round five there for you, Mike. Wow, you that go. deserves a meme. Oh my goodness! I'll take a sip of. Well, we did. We just had you running throat. across the, the screen. <laughs> no, flamingo. the double meme. The double. The double. Sell oh, we'll meme. take it. Okay. Here well, it, I'll let uh, Gwen pick a meme while you're uh, taking a sip there. I'm just teasing. All right. Well, I guess she's not going to pick a meme anyway. Wait here. Yay! Congratulations. 
All right. Round you six. Love those, uh, ostriches. You gotta love ostriches. You got to love ostriches, folks. Yeah. Uh, well, or, or flamingos. Big That's flamingo. a flamingo, Mike. Big, oh, big I thought, flamingo. Well, it runs like an ostrich. <laughs> All right, And Mike. only ostriches are that big. A flamingo is like up to my Hey, hey everything down in Florida is pretty big. Yeah, you got to get fluoridized. Oh, yeah. yeah. You missed the intro tonight. It, it's not Florida. It's Florida now. Oh, so. Thorna? I like Thorna. that. I like that. Wow. Yeah, yeah. I've got a set of memes coming up. Uh, and Deja the... Floridus. Oh, never mind. <laughs> is, oh, that, boy. is that uh, Thor's sister? <laughs> yes, exactly. All right, round six, Mike. And then you're caught okay, up. Okay, round six. Check this out. The great, look at this specialty pinup. Eric Larson, are you kidding me? Beautiful Batman pinup signed by Eric Larson. Really, really nice piece. Uh, pencils and inks by Larson featuring a nice large image of Batman standing on a gargoyle. Look at that gargoyle statue at the bottom. Really nice artist drawn on 11 by 17 in Archboard, and he signed it on the right right there. Pencils and inks with the moon. Very nice. Batman by the great Eric Larson. Pencils and inks. And rarely do you see such great backgrounds by him. So very, very cool piece. Uh... By the great Eric Larson on 11 by 17 inch art board. Wowza. Looks like he has his lips. Looks like he has his lips sewed up or something. But anyway, really cool piece. And I like the gargoyle. Almost looks like John Romita Jr. ish, sort of. But so that's the first one 11 by 17, Eric Larson. All and right. the second one, I yeah. sort of like it, needs a little bit more explaining. I did a, I actually went, uh, I was from Sunday. I went to New York to buy a big art deal and uh, uh, some of the pieces I have on the show tonight. But anyway, in the 1970s, a guy got this from Mike Grell. It was on a cover. It was an unpublished Green Lantern cover in the 70s, but he cut it. Uh, he cut the artwork. This is actually done on actual DC artwork. He cut it right to the character. He bought it from Gil, uh, Mike Grell for, I think, $20 in 1977. It has the rule, the. Uh, artboard on the back but anyway but how detailed and it's it's not signed but the guy said he got it right from mike grell at atlanta con fantastic con or something in atlanta in, in the late 70s but really nice flying green lantern done on board but it was cut so it's 11.25 wide by seven and a half inches tall but very fully 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 detailed uh green lantern image there by the great mike grell with his with his ring glowing. So I thought that was a sort of a, a pretty cool piece there. Very, very nice. I said the detail's so nice. I wish I could show it up a little closer. But uh, but you get the gist. The detail on this is perfect. I mean, that is, that is like how he pencils for covers. So, And again, this was done in the 1970s, which is key. So, All right. Well, we are all synced up now. We've... We got both guys done through round six. We've got 257 people watching the show. I think we just crossed the 100 thumbs up mark. So hey, if you're watching on YouTube, click the thumbs up. Give us, give us. And your we thumbs got up. doozy, doozy stuff the rest of the show, but, folks. Let me tell you, both of us. I would agree. I would agree. Wow, so give us a thumbs up. Nick, I think Nick's got the night off. He's a busy man, so he's not he's not doing the cheerleading. So I'm going to do it tonight. So he, click the thumbs up, and uh, we you know that helps kind of move our uh, algorithm around and. Brings in probably the the uh, webcams and whatnot, but what, you know I'll take the webcams sometimes as long as they're not doing false claims. So, all right, Anthony, are you ready? Round seven. Yeah, sure, oh, I'm ready. Yeah. All right, all yeah. right. You had a little break there. What up? Uh, yeah. So here you go. I seven didn't fall eight. asleep or sleep through my alarm. <laughs> all right, we got the Modoc and we got the thing and we got some Avengers going on. Look at that cap by Arvel Jones and Sam De La Rosa. What if the thing continued to mutate? Oh, by the Moidoc and the Modoc and the Moidoc. Look at that. So we got a great thing page. It continues to mutate. And you got uh, Black Goliath and Cap bursting in on uh, the Moidoc Lair. Moidoc Lair. So this is from 1982. What a good year. Yeah, it's almost like Albert posed for that. Right? I love it. So what kind of theme do we have this round, Bill? Uh, I don't know. Maybe uh, a Moidoc round? Moidoc. Oh, Moidoc. <laughs> <laughs> now we got a John Byrne 
Oh, this is, uh, you know, from the, uh, what do you mean, unknown title? You can't put the, uh, the. this is from his, uh, you know, his online art thing. What's it called, Bill? Is that from the X-Men book that he's been working on? Yeah, I guess. All right, well, I don't know. I mean, that's how I came across from Bobby. So, you know, we, we just kind of <sighs> copy paste as we get it. Okay. So... And so, all so Mordock page. Mordock. Ooh, look at that. Look at that great close up of the Mordock. That's very flattering. Very flattering. Isn't it? Don't you like that one? Yeah. You should do the Jane, his wife. Do, 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 do. Mm, we could. We could. And Jim, it's we're back. I always forget the title of that. Elswen, Elswen. All right, round seven. Over to Mr. Berkey here. Let's get his 7A artwork queued up. And here oh, we go. Oh, boy. Get ready for this, folks. Check this Ron Lim pinup. Oh, my God. Ron Lim from 1998. Beautiful uh, silver surfer, fully penciled, and then inked by the great Gary Martin in 2022. But beautiful pencil piece and this is stunning and we have a sale and that yeah. is a gorgeous one fish was fast on the draw there and he's a he's a cosmic collector and that's a 24 year old ron Lim piece there so great 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 purchase there thank you fish and i love this one this one is cool check this out published the great neil adams pencils and inks published for the spider-man uh the spider-man web glider action figure the original art Signed by Neil Adams, and you get his certificate of authenticity. Spider-Man Glider original package art for Toy Biz by Neil Adams, 11 by 14. And, and this is 11 by 14 pencil and ink. This is a big one, too. All pencil and inks, Neil Adams, and signed. Great, great, great piece drawn on, again, 11 by 17 inch. Uh, it's sort of like a, it's a, it's a, like a vellum. It's a paper, pretty art, art paper, but again, Pencil and inks by Neil Adams and Spider-Man. Where are you going to get fine published Spider-Man by the great Neil Adams? You get two signatures, the certificate of authenticity and the original art. And right there, Bill, show, you show the right there at the bottom right, the background is the exact art for this piece there with him with the spider glider wings. Are you kidding me? Great. <laughs> Very nice. So do you have this toy in the uh, Spider-Man toy room? I do not because I collect only earlier than this. I try to stop around 1990 with all my toys. I think this was a little later, I think. I'm not sure. Yeah, that was the uh, 90s. Yeah, I try to stop. I try to go from the 60s to around 1990 on all my Spider-Man memorabilia, unless it's really rare stuff. So so yeah, I didn't collect nice. this stuff uh, too That new. is unique when we know that uh, Adam's like doing his advertising art, even stuff like that. Very cool. All right, Anthony, round eight over to you. One round until cake break, sir. Okay, let I, I, know. I got some fast movers coming up. Did you did you shout to Sharon to let her know she's got one round? Wait a minute. You're not going to shout? Oh, there he goes. <laughs> okay. He did it with a smile on his face, everybody. Yeah, All right, good. round eight over to the Snyder Man. Let's get his 8A oh, artwork queued up, and it's in color. Look at that. Oops, which one? <laughs> Not that, there, there it is. Wait a minute. Come on. You got this one, Anthony. Look at this. A painted card art by Bob Larkin. What? These don't come up. These are hard to find anymore. Look at that. A painted vulture. If you like your Spider-Man villains, I got a lot of stuff going on for Spider-Man. What is that? Arachnophobia. Arachnopho vulture. By the Bob Larkin for two big ones. Yeah. So look at that. All painted on board. And the, art, the art size? Uh, seven by ten. Ten by seven. To shrink down to perfect trading card proportions. There you go. A very, very nice Bob Larkin. 
All right, next up, a little bit of Lord of the Rings. Published. Uh, action here. Now, this is my color uh, round, actually. Yep. So. David Wenzel. Yeah, David Wenzel. This is from The Hobbit. The only comic book versions of. Look at that. And that's nice, large art. And this is like a perfect panel page. You got this established shot up here, and he moves your eye across it, and then they go out. Look, this, hey. If there's a wall in your house that needs art, this could be it. Nice color piece of The Hobbit, and it's got the wizard, and you got your uh, overlay with all the... Look at all those words! One page? That's the amount of words that come in. Uh, oh, Comic Art Boston would like that. Thank you very much. Yeah, that's a good pickup. David Wenzel is... Uh... He, I mean, he's an awesome guy. He's been a juror on my Infected by Art competition. I mean, he's just an amazing artist. So, uh, and and like somebody said, I think he's he's pretty much sold out of all the work that he did for this. So, nice pickup, Comic Art Boston. What happened? You uh, you didn't get hit by a fireball, so you got a sale. <laughs> I think that's what that means. Well, thank you very much, Bill. <laughs> I could have had, yeah, I could have had some fireworks or something there, I guess, at the end. But, um, but yes, congratulations to Comic Art Boston on that wow. one. So, uh, all right, Mike, round eight over to you. Let me uh, find <laughs> everybody's like, what was that meme? I'm going to have to, Anthony and Mordor. Yeah, exactly. Maybe that's what it was. <laughs> I like, What's I like Mordor? what you think, Margaret. Mordor. So, all right, round eight over to Mike. Mordor. Here we go. Round eight doesn't get much better than this for a Superman fan. Check out this two half splashes, basically, from 1971. World's Finest 209. Dick Dillon, inked by the great Joe Giella. Just an awesome, spectacular se semi-splash page signed by Joe Giella at the bottom. From the story, Meet the Tempter and Die. This super semi-splash features Superman battling the evil super beings named Ben Moore, almost like Mordo, Ben Moore and Reb Koo. Doesn't get it much better than this, folks. 51 years old and signed by the great Joe GL at the bottom. So I just thought, what a cool, cool, cool piece. And there's the published image there on the bottom right. But beautiful, beautiful semi-splash. So that's the first one. Second one, this is really rare for you Keith Giffen fans. Get a load of this world's finest 322 from 1985. Batman in almost every panel. Batman in a cemetery. World's finest 322 from 1985. The next to last issue of the world's finest run. Pencil by Keith Giffen. Ink by the great Carl Kessel from the story titled Double Trouble. This features Batman in eight panels in a cemetery as he talks with Johnny Angel. A 1980s Keith Giffen art is really, really rare, folks, and just a great, great page at the bottom. I don't even know who the signature is on that. Ah, uh, yes. Yeah, I tried keeping everything Florida related or at least something warm and watery related. <laughs> so, uh, a warrant out for his arrest in Florida for that. <laughs> so, what was it? I saw a question there. What was the question? Somebody, uh, Chris Lutz said, So, I've seen this a few times. So, what's the deal with the tanning only inside the margins of that Superman? Well, that's page? when people have stuff framed, right? When it's framed, and so the outside edge of the page doesn't get, uh, get uh, tanned only the part exposed right. to uh, the sunlight so that, that's what you, why you see that on that uh on that page but there. is effective but wow great pieces there folks bill's head should be on the other person thanks a lot jason yeah <laughs> it should you got be me on there with a with, well you can say it's my kid my pseudo my pseudo online meme kid <laughs> pseudo online meme kid okay uh, well, it's time for cake break, everybody. I mean, time for uh, cake break, Sharon. I'm sure Sharon's got something worked up here. And I did find a cake break here. Where is that? Uh, let's just play this. Here's a cupcake from my favorite scruffy nerf herder. Thanks, princess. Looks delicious. Hope you like it. Oh! <laughs> what is this made out of carbonite? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I missed it. 
Uh, that's all right. I'll play it for you when the show's over, Anthony. Where's Sharon? I told you. I mean, we got home at like bring it, it three it's Sharon o'clock today from the airport. I mean, she had no day. She's got to bring it out, whatever stat. You know, it doesn't matter if it's done, not done. It's bring time. It. Yeah, Bill good. says, "Come on, get it." Look at that vulture. I oh my god! I can't board. believe that's that right, thing <laughs> <laughs> Good folks, you can buy stuff on the on the side. I'm here. Right. Oh we want to the cake, Sharon. Bring it on, Sharon. Oh man, you know Sharon needs a, a camera in her kitchen. Then she could just flip. We just flip over to that camera temporarily. That but here she is. Here she is. Here she is. All right. So I was really stumped. As she to was to stumped do. on what to do today. She was but in North Carolina. Carolina. Okay, go ahead. I'm sorry. Don't That's mean to okay. talk over you, honey. I was in North Carolina, and the trees are just so beautiful in my dad's yard. Just, like, incredible. Like, they go all the way. They up. go up to the sky. To the heavens! And anyway, so I made a stump, but I'm not done with it. <laughs> that looks like a stump. Kind of looks like a stump, right? That's perfect. She was stumped, so she made a chocolate cake stump. It looks That's like stump. Anthony's hat. It's like a fedora with green things on hey, top of it. You want to wear it, Anthony? I want to wear it later. <laughs> I'll wear it. Yeah, and I love chocolate anyway, cake. I, I could go for that right now. Flowers. I mean, leaves. Sorry. Can I have a leaf? Yes, eat it. Mm. Part of it. Don't eat. What's chocolate. it made of? The leaf. Chocolate. Chocolate. Wow. Root cake. <laughs> Looks Yay. like a kiwi. Stumpy. See, this is the unfinished part. Wait, where'd it go? I need to do to uh very edible this one. Groot. I am Groot. Make some more bark. Uh, I bet that's milk chocolate on the sides. Oh my goodness. Yes, it is. Oh my god, I need that. <laughs> I don't need it. I want it, I should say. <laughs> to clarify. Stuff. Yeah, Devil's Tower. That looks like Devil's Tower. Oh yeah, I love yeah, that. That's what Wes said this is a, that is great. Our close encounters uh tremendous. <laughs> Those are spaceships yes. on the top. Oh my goodness! Oh, that's a great idea. We chopped oh, right. in half. <laughs> right. That's awesome. And uh, anybody that wants to uh, uh, come by to the warehouse, we'll take it over to the warehouse and chop it up. That's an awesome piece, Sharon. Do some business. I know you didn't have much time. I wish it was finished. But oh boy, things happen, right? <laughs> things happen. Yay. I want cake. It smells good too, right? Very, very nice. Oh, As you. always. It smells like chocolate. <laughs> I think you win for being so rushed. Oh my god. She only had like two, three hours today. <laughs> no, really. Yeah. Anthony, you don't and you don't usually eat the cakes. So uh, I ate some chocolate. Yeah. You know, my favorite candy. Chocolate covered raisins, Bill. Oh uh, uh, no. Chocolate no. covered peanuts and raisins are my faves right yep no, no. i mean who doesn't like those i'm no. telling you people that have a that allergy <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay I like it well everybody appreciates the fact that uh, she put in the effort to get that thing that is awesome today. congrats yeah. Yeah. like i said her flight got canceled yesterday and she only flew in today and i had to go oh my get her. Gator. Uh, now there was what was there? I thought there was a question around here. What was that? Uh, oh, Joe P had a question. What was the price on the Modoc? But there were two Modoc pieces. There was the, well, I got an Arville Jones. The Arville Jones, which was eighteen hundred dollars. That was from What If uh, thirty seven, and there was the John Byrne from X Men Elsewhere. That one was at two thousand dollars, Joe. Yeah. So I think those were that was oh, the only God. question I saw flip through while we were looking at that cake. Modoc. We got that that one, and we got the published Arvel Jones page as well. Yes, we do. All right. Well, we're moving on to round nine. Great. Only you, Kevin Van Car injuries. Yeah, that that is a really good one, Mike. Is that uh, uh, from when we could we could come up with a whole line of safety first memes. I know. Wear your seatbelt, <laughs> especially the Batmobile. Who would wear a seatbelt in the Batmobile? I'm just saying in the in the comics, you know. That is that's true. They're messing up kids' brains there with the comic books. <laughs> All right, <laughs> round nine, and then we're gonna do a coin flip to see who gets to go first for the recap. So Anthony, you do get to start us off, 
And uh, are we right on the scores right now? Yes, oh, this are. is our anything goes, people, for the next four pieces. Get ready. We both got some doozies. Yes, we do. All right, Anthony, you are nine. A artwork starts us off. All right, here we go with a published Green Lantern splash from Green Lantern 130. Wow, look at that. He's using his power ring. He's saving a jet uh, test pilot at uh, Ferris Air Force Base. A vintage signature by the Joe Staten and uh, inked by Frank McLaughlin, one of my favorites from the 70s. Holy Moses, this is a nice one. Sonar's Sonic At Atomic Sonic Atomic Attack. Okay, say that fast five times, Bill. Come on. Sonar's Sonic At Atomic Attack. I see. I can't even. Yeah. No, can't do it. Can't do it once. All right. Really nice. 1980. 1980 splash by Joe Staten. And the next one. Well, we were really going to do two minutes on these one, Mike. I, mean, I think it was I two minutes for two pieces, right? Correct, correct. But we it started at one thirty, but it's okay. Keep. Oh, keep I didn't doing. realize. Oh, okay. Yep. Here's your next one, Anthony. All oh, right, here God. we go. <laughs> that cosmic odyssey returns, but this is the best one ever. Look at that! All the dark side you can and air air again. Oh. No, this is the last, 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 last dark side splash page from the Cosmic Odyssey. Oh, you you kept asking for it, and I delivered. Yes, you will meet again with the large art Mignola, the last, last dark <laughs> side high father. You must get some Magnola Dark Side. Ooh. We just got to read the last word balloon on the page. <laughs> I'm sorry, my son. <laughs> no, below no. that. No. No cake for you. Eat it. Oh, uh, yes. More than one forkful gets a little odd. <laughs> well, there you go. There's another yeah, kind of you know, guy. Why haven't we worked got all your forms of domestic abuse between you two. So, I mean, that's, that's uh, you know, making me eat a salad is the least of it. There's no domestic abuse going on around here. Okay. Yeah, because you're wearing your helmet from that. How far away are you now? How far away are Mike and I? Yeah. Bill's uh, in Florida now. We're far. 1,000 miles apart. Yeah, you've made the drive how many times now with your loads? <laughs> Three times so far. I got, one, one, more, I got one more oh. load to go. Oh, and you didn't go to the bathroom? No. My goodness. I, I packed. Never mind. Uh, round nine. <laughs> over to Mr. Berkey. 9A. Here we go. Check this out, folks. Steve Lytle. Pencils and inks. X-Factor 32. From the classic story, the X Factor battle X Factor battles the Avengers. Oh my! We got Cyclops, Jean Grey, and Iceman in every panel at the top, including the spread, and then the mighty Mjolnir Hammer <laughs> and Thor. We got Thorda in the bottom panel, getting ready to battle the X Factor. Nineteen eighty-eight. Are you kidding me? From the classic crossover Avengers crossover issue. Where Thor gets ready to battle Cyclops, Jean Grey, Marvel Girl, and Iceman. Very cool. All of them in the upper left, all of them in the middle, all of them in the upper right. Big spread, and then Fatoom with Thor. I thought that'd be a doozy page for somebody. That's a great one. It's a like nice one. Cyclops, look out. Fatoom. So a great page, hero versus hero. Gotta love it, folks. And the second one, Anthony had his Green Lantern splash. Well, how about a 1970s Dick Dillon crisis splash with the JSA and the JLA? Are you kidding me? Holy mackerel. 1978. From the story titled Crisis from Yesterday, this starts it, folks. We have the we have the JSA, the JLA, Superman, Hawkman, elongated with the Justice Society of America, Star Spangled Kid, 
Dr. Midnight, the Huntress, and the Star Spangled Kid, and the Earth 2 Wonder Woman who can't drive, and she smashes Earth 1 Wonder Woman's plane into the Viking Prince and the Black Pirate's space ship, literally, as they battle the Black Pirate and the Viking Prince. Are you kidding me? Heroes galore, crisis, years before crisis, and it's a splash. Chapter 3, 1978, folks. I say thee nay, Hulk. You are a lightweight, sir. You can't handle your mead like the God of Thunder. Uh, is it cologne time yet? Uh. That is a gorgeous page, Mike. Yeah. I picked and, it uh, up you did? For Columbus Con a couple weeks ago. Oh, you did? Cool. Yeah. I did not. Uh, I don't remember seeing that one. So, hey, you did get an offer on your 8B artwork. That was, was that? The, that was the Keith Giffen uh, Batman page. You're at $2,000, and Steve Crow has offered you $1,500. Uh, Steve, I'll tell you what, Steve. If we could do $1,700, I'll do 1700 on that one. All right. So, Mike is uh, changing the price I'm on I'm going to say meet in the middle at $1,750, but no. For you, seventeen hundred. That's the middle. Seventeen fifty is the middle. I'm Little giving them more of a discount. All right, so seventeen hundred is Mike's counter offer on the eight B. And I uh, yes, I see that. Congratulations, Steve. Very nice pickup. I didn't I didn't think that one was going to last too long tonight. That that was a very nice. Pickup. I haven't seen Keith Giffen eighties Batman in forever. No. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I mean Barry Kitson. I'm sorry. Thanks. <laughs> It's uh yes, thank you, Steve. All right. Wow. Let me, let me highlight that one there, that one there. All right. So uh moving right along to round 10. Here's Johnny. Here's Johnny. Uh are you ready there, Mr. Snyder Man? Best yeah, hunt of the sure. year since Next 1995. Oh, <laughs> All and right. So. Get, what year did you get married? 1995? Yep, 95. Wow, so you've been the best since you were uh, the best. All right, okay, that's good. I love it. All right, round 10 over to Anthony. Uh, 31. 31. That's, uh, yeah, um, nice, very nice. So well, you're, well, how old were you when you got married? 26. Oh, my God. Yeah, his wife robbed the cradle, let me tell you that. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, I'm not supposed to say that. Doesn't sorry. like that kind of talk, Mike. Come mm -hmm. on. Oh, yeah, we're going to get in trouble on the other chat boards. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, all right, Anthony, wow. let's get you started on round 10 so we can get to this recap. That roller coaster theme is like, you know, kind of. Uh, yeah, Bill should be my cohort on that one. Hmm. Yeah, not wow. some lured 15 year old girl. Hey, it's my aunt. It's my meme child. All right. Oh All right. So let's go. I got round 10 coming up. Yes, here we go. Round 10. Here is Anthony's. 10 a oh, artwork yes john Byrne x-men page and signed by the newly departed tom palmer sorry so sorry to hear that tom passed but john Byrne and tom palmer uh x-men page with the whole team kind of moving and grooving all through the page yeah just picked this up at the art con on sunday and curating the, the butt here we go. And speaking of the butt, there's Cyclops's the butt. That is his the butt. Yeah. So we got very nice page. Hall of Fame combination of John Byrne and Tom Palmer. Great. Very satisfying. This panel is cool with everybody coming in. Where's Angel? Where's Angel? Where's Angel? Oh, don't have Angel on it. Eh. So it doesn't have the whole team. Uh, we're missing Angel. But other than that, really nice. I just saw one go for, what, 43 44 something like that. So I'm um, priced this to sell at the four. Hall of Fame haunches. Yep. All right. All right. Here's your next piece by Don Heck and Sal Buscema. All right. Now, this one was in my personal collection for, I don't know, like 20 years. And I did a deal with it. And then a the guy came and, uh, you know, we did a deal back for it Sunday. So I had sold it once, so I'm going to try to sell it again. Yep, here we go. Hard to find Amazing Adventures Black Widow art by Don Heck and Sal Basema. 
hard to find from this this title. And wait a minute, uh, I found it. Oh, you found it? Okay. I found it. Sharon. Oh, those glasses. Are those little heart glasses? Yes. The because Sharon I love fountain. art and I love you. You Do gotta you? rewear those again on Valentine's Day. Uh, <laughs> Sharona loves me. That makes me the luckiest man on earth. Amazing adventures, you guys. Come on. Wow. All right. Couple very nice pages there, Mr. That's Snyder. Yeah, that's a thought after title. After With uh, price to move in the claimy claims. And uh, as, as they've said in the chat, yes, rest in peace, Mr. Palmer. That's for sure. His, yep. Yeah, you know, he's right up there with uh, Jolton Joe Sinat, right? As far as uh, legendary anchors, as far as I'm concerned, poor Marvel in particular. But uh, yeah, uh, a great loss to us all. Mike, round ten over to you. We get on with the recap. So okay. uh, let's see Wah! here. Where is Mike? Wah! There must Wah! be a birthday coming up, ladies and gentlemen. Wah! Get ready, folks. Check this out. Gil Kane pencils, Dave Cockrum inks. I got this this weekend, my trip to New York. I got the I got the sketch from issue one. John Dave Cockrum inking Gil Kane from John Carter, Warlord of Mars number one. This is the first page. He gets transported to Mars on this page. And he does his first ever battle at the bottom. Battle of Mars soon. So from 1977. Bronze Age Birth and Battle page from the story titled The Air Pirates of Mars, Chapter 1. John Carter transported to Mars in his very first battle as he defeats and kills Warhoon on this historic first issue, 1977 page. Wow. Yeah, he's on Barsoom and he kills Warhoon. How about that? You can make that into a song if you want. But again, how many times did Cockrum... Uh, did, did, did Kane Pencil and Cockrum Inc. Very, very cool page from issue one. And the guy got a load of that battle sequence at the bottom, too. Very, very cool. And then flying to Mars there, getting transported at the top. All right, I got your next one up here, too. Cool and the second and last page, are you kidding me? From the death, Jim Starlin, pencils, written, written pencils and inks. Captain Marvel graphic novel, page 44, one of the few pages that have not faded away, where Captain Marvel, where he's getting ready to die. You got Drax the Destroyer in eight panels, Captain Marvel in seven panels. We also have Rick Jones and Moon Dragon on the page. This is done twice a man, signed by Starlin at the bottom. This is a doozy. I mean, this is some of the most historic stuff. Uh, of the 80s by uh, by Jim Starlin. But what a great page from, of course, 1982, 40 years old, Captain Marvel. Just a... That wasn't all there, was a, there was activity. Everybody's interested. Everybody likes that last one. I, that's, uh, that is a very nice one, Mike. I picked this up at our great... The Bill Cox going to start our Columbus Con. Pick yeah. this up at our Columbus Con we did a couple weeks ago. Really, yeah, I, really nice. I saw it. That one, and I can, you know, I, I can attest. It's, uh, you know, you've seen a lot of those pages where most of the, you know, the inks are faded. But on that one, I mean, there's a little bit of fading, but it's not anywhere. Well, it's just like, turned slightly purple, but yeah. it ain't going to fade in our lifetime. So No, no. I mean, I've seen pages where you almost can't see, you know, hardly right. anything on the page. So. Nope, that is a good one and a, and a pivotal moment. One of the last pages of the book. So. Yep, it's about three, four pages. Where he's getting ready to die. Exactly. Yep, that is for sure. Yeah, right on the next page is Thanos come to meet. Thanos comes to meet. They go, who are you going to meet? And Thanos comes to meet him right after. Then he then he takes him to death and he dies right after this. Oh, right. The last page is that Captain Marvel's alive. Yeah. yeah, Drax is joking with him about, uh, you know, Death, uh, yeah, death or isn't uh, I, yeah, a bad thing or death, something. It's not a big yeah. deal. The writing on this is fantastic. Yeah, I've seen death. It's not a big deal. You, you, you won't, you won't, it won't, you won't bother. It won't bother. He goes, well, let me live a little longer, please. <laughs> so we're getting to the recap here. So let's go ahead and do our coin flip now to see who I, gets. I had the back cover to that in, back in the day where they were all standing around the monument and uh, oh, yeah? snuck in Superman in the in it. No, I thought that was funny. 
Is that right? Wow. This one was not re-inked. This is how it originally was. Not re-inked. It's, it's not the way re it was. Yes, you were answering Ron's uh, question there. Yep. Yep. All oh. Starlin there. No re-inking here, Ron. Great, great, great piece. Ah, oh, yes. The fix is <laughs> in. Yes, Alberto, only 10 rounds today. We've been doing 10 rounds, two pieces per round the last couple of weeks, and the format works pretty well. We kind of get through things a little bit faster than usual. So uh, we, we like the format. Hopefully everybody else does as well. So, Oh, hey, so, Bill, before we start, Robert just wanted to see the middle spread again. Oh, uh, yeah, here, hang on. I'll just make you full screen here. I know he did do a little bit of whiteout on his, uh, on his uh, face a little bit, but again, very first. So that's it right there. Top. I know they used a lot of white out cock. I don't know if after Cockrum did his inking, they used a lot of what they used a little bit of white up, but it's all art. And that's I always tell people that's part of the process. I like seeing white out a little bit. It shows you that it is drawn. You're not gonna get any stats there, folks. First landing on Mars in the first battle. Issue one, 1977. 45 years old. Wow. All What's right. That? What's that? Sorry. There's like the, the strangest sounds outside. I just had a text Gwen because she's closer to the front of the house. I mean, it's like somebody's riding a ATV in our backyard or front yard or something. It sounds That's so, what you get in Florida. It sounds so freaking loud. Uh you get a lot of people with uh, very suntan. Well, I mean, I'm out in the country, but but there she's saying we were just questioning that as well. I mean, well, you could be looking out all those windows you've got. I don't have any windows in my office. I can't see it. Anyway, gators on UTVs. It's possible, Chris. It's the, or lawnmower races. <laughs> I'm telling you, it is crazy out there. It sounds like uh, it's it's pandemonium. It's I mean, I've never heard anything like that. Anyway, we got to get this recap rolling. So we're going to do uh, 30 second rounds on the recap. Okay. Florida, man, just, uh, 30 seconds for each one or just to, start. Oh, oh, yeah, 30 seconds total and we're done, Anthony. Okay. Yes. All right. Let's go. Sorry, everybody. So my, my daughter texts me so, saying it's freaking everybody out. Well, so, well, if mom's up there, why don't you just have mom go out there with a shotgun in her hands and, and scare him off the front Yo, yard? get off my property! <laughs> yes, exactly. Uh, Mike, you did get an offer from, from Jordan on the John Carter piece, uh, 4K with time payments. That was, uh, and you were at five. On uh, John Jordan, Carter. I'll meet you in the middle at 45, and I'll do the time payments. I'm holding that one piece for you already. Best adult. Like I said, hey, I now the news, it's uh, uh, oh, the no, here. Bill. The webcams are here. Uh, it's I the roller like coaster webcam. It's been in one collection since 1978 until this weekend. That that and my uh, uh, Gil Kane one before. Uh, yeah, th these were both done, gotten from the same guy. So very very cool. Yeah, that and this the same guy got them from Gil Kane at the same show. He bought the page and this at the same show. Okay, Sweet. can we? Uh... Yeah. Anthony, I was going to say, you're starting, right? You, I didn't hear you actually say that you were going to start. You want me to go first, Anthony? I'll do it if you no, want. No, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm ready when you are, Bill. Okay. Sorry, I'm a little distracted because of what was going on outside. But I, I don't have any ri riding lawnmower rednecks. Uh, in, uh, hey, I'm, I'm, I'm really going to drive on a riding lawnmower. I think, Come on, I sell this. Whatever. Did I miss an offer, Alberto? I did do the Jordan one. Oh, it's you and me. Did I miss an offer, Mike, or anybody else see that? Did I miss an I, offer? What? Oh, I didn't know. What? What's the? Oh, is he talking about the four thousand? Well, I don't know. Uh, Alberto keeps saying Mike had an offer, but we did address the Jordan one, so I'm saying was yeah. There, which one, Alberto? Did I miss a different offer to? Uh... Okay. Do you want to start the recap? I don't know. I feel like I should walk to the front. I don't know what the what's going on outside. Check it out. Do you, you want to go check it out? Take a pause. Yeah. All right. So, the, right. Okay, guys. We got I'll this uh, Bill Wogan page. It's a uh, large it's art. It's from Pep 141. And it's from 19. 
Okay, I'm gonna listen. I'm gonna go ahead and do this. Uh, they're saying just run with the show. So I don't know. I'll uh, I, don't know. I apologize to everybody about that. Uh, let's go ahead and get the recap going. Anthony, we will start with All right, you. I got this for uh, 300 with the Sharona and and me panel. I, uh, I'll do 250. I think her name is actually Katie. Yeah, that's Katie Keen. Yeah. I'm sorry, everybody. Isn't it? I think so. Yeah, that's Katie. Katie Keen, Bill Wogan page. Large art from 60, She's 1961. Very glamorous. She's In the fishnets, $250. Okay. And the gorilla saves her. On uh, 1B, we have the monkeys. What? Well, we didn't run the clock for some reason. That's I don't all know right. Know. It's okay. You're going to be fast? Yeah, I'm going to be fast. <laughs> You're always <laughs> going on. No, no, no. We're good. What's we're your good. best price, Anthony? <laughs> oh, yeah. Where's the meme for what's your best price, Anthony? Yeah, all right. So it. 250 on the Bill Wogan. I uh, have the monkeys. Uh, what was your best friend? Never had a monkey's page like this before, Anthony. so I thought uh, this was really cool. Uh, that, the, that one's still up? Yeah, 250 What's the best price? Yeah, okay, uh, we need to move along. And then this one? All, All right, right we'll so we have uh, monkeys up. at 500 I'll do 450 on that one. There's a lot of uh, uh, fans with that. I might want to buy this for my friend. 250 Yay. That's awesome. Okay. Wait a minute now. Two fifty is your best price on the one A, and what's your best price on the one B? Uh, four and a quarter. Four twenty-five. Oh no, Mike Misaka. Uh, well, yay, we got. Uh, huh? Give him one B at four and a quarter. All right. So you're uh, oh for Michael there. Yeah. One B at four and a quarter to Mister Nick no. Isaac. Uh, no, the monkeys page. The monkeys. Oh, that's my musical director, Christopher Palmerini. Oh, I'm sorry, Chris. I sold it right out from under you. My ah. All right. Oh. I, and I'm sorry, everybody. It is. It was just a little odd, but Chris. I do apologize. So your 2A did sell. So next up, 2B. All right. We still have the uh, Katie and the monkey page. Yes. And now we have this great Koblish. Well, with Billathor swatting bugs in his backyard, needs to get the hammer out and get that guy in the ATV off his property. Yeah, go get him, Bill. Go out there with your <laughs> Browning semi-automatic shotgun. He needs just all he needs is his hammer. Uh, yeah, get your hammer out, Bill. All right, so this is eleven by seventeen by Koblish for four fifty. 450, really nice. 11 by 17. Uh, all cross hatch. Thor, Bill Thor. The best price on this one, Anthony? Four and, a, four and a quarter? Let's see if that works and somebody claims it. Uh, Same, four, four and a quarter. You're going four and a quarter on, on the 2B. Every time you act, I'm going to go down $25. All right. Well, <laughs> well, next up is your three. Spoiler alert. A all right. Now I'm testing out the market for my, uh, my, good, my Marvel Good Girls. And this, uh, you know, this might actually be Stan Lee's signature from 1960, 61, 62, uh, 62. It's from 62, That looks right? like it. Wow. Right? Yeah. And Al Hartley, Al Hartley did all those, uh, uh, those uh, educational and uh, cross and the switchblade. We used to go to his church in the Times Square church. Uh, What's your and, best price? Uh, and, uh, and the, uh. What's best The girl who loved the swastika, seven fifty. What are you talking about? Uh, that was uh, one of the famous Alan Hartley books. It was. Uh... All right, so seven fifty, best price on your three A. Oh, let's do seven hun on the big, uh, big big Al Hartley splash. Uh, it's not Stan Goldberg. I mean, Stan Goldberg is like there's a hundred Stan Goldberg for every one Al Hartley page. That's Patsy and Hetty. All right, seven hundred dollars on this beauty. So next up will be your three B artwork by Yeah, Hansi, the girl who loved the swastika, but she moves to America and falls in love with democracy and freedom. That's why that's the moral of that story. So cool. If you've ever read it, I've sold that comic book a thousand times. All right, Lethal Flows of of Spider Man by Scott McDaniel with the Stagron. 
Ah, wow. this is great. I have a, a page from that first appearance of uh, Stegron from uh, Ross Andrew, and I, I like it a lot. I love that uh, that dinosaur issue. It had all these dinosaurs, but Stegron was the uh, only one that came out of that as a real character. So Lethal Foes at 700. Right? You had I to know, read Hansi. Right? I wanted to, you know, I, I needed to know why Hansi, Hansi, Hansel, uh, you know, Hansel, who is so hot right now. So 700 is best best price on that one? Yeah. yeah. I thought you were going to go down $25 every time. Okay, I said 675 because you asked. <laughs> All right, six seventy-five on Anthony's three B. Next up, four A. Uh, yeah, I had to find out why Hansi Hansel Hansi loved the swastika and what was the moral of the story. After the war, she moves to America and loves freedom and democracy. That's Hooray! It. All right, so now we have the Charlie Adler, eleven by seventeen page of Rick Grimes and Tyrese. Now I'll do uh, ask ask Bill. That's the best price, what? Anthony. All right, six and a quarter. Ask. Ask. Anthony, Ask. can you do any better than six and a quarter? What's How your best 600? price? about 600? No. Look, grimy Rick Grimes. Oh, my God. Everybody wants Rick Grimes in their, their pages. I'll do 575 because Bill wants to ask This again. time tonight. All right. All right, yeah. 575. Yep. All right. Now, this one I, I, I'm going to be tighter with because I think there's a great moment. Uh, everybody remembers when uh, Glenn and Maggie hook up. It was the seminal part of the, like, the attraction in the show uh, that uh, these characters, these very popular characters got together. And Maggie's terror when, uh, you know, when Negan kills him is palatable. Oh, my God. It's what... That's the last episode she ever watched. She hated it, right? So you already lowered this one to 700, Anthony. Okay, 675. Gonna ask again? No. Well, if if he asks again, does that mean you'll lower it again? Yeah, maybe. 675? 675 yeah. in the best part. You like this page, Bill? Did you want it for your wall? Uh, no, I like the different Walking Dead page you have actually, but uh, anyway, so you're at 675 best price on this one, 650. Gosh, all right, so 575, on, 575 on Anthony's 4A, that sounds like that's on the lowest price. Uh, 500. I mean, I, I've got 500 yeah. for the small pages with nothing going on. This is this is an important moment in the whole show history, what? Here's your uh, 5A by Steve Epting. Batman pencil piece. You were fifteen hundred dollars on this one, Anthony. What is your best price? Oh, five eight. Uh, yeah, this is really so nice. I don't even want to discount it, right, Bill? So there's I don't know. No lowering of the price. Where where is it? I think it's yeah, over there. All there? right, so I'll do like thirteen fifty on this one. It's a beautiful, beautiful, best Steve Epting commission I've ever had in, and I think that is. You know, I got to be tighter on this stuff. You want curata de butts? You want these quality items? We gotta, we gotta. Oh, here it is. So, Anthony, what is your best price on this one? Thirteen hundred. Thirteen hundred dollars is Anthony's best price on his Epting Batman full figure piece. And uh, Anthony, you did get an offer just now from uh, from Wayne. Wayne is offering you $2,500 total, total. Now, that's on the Mignola and the uh, the Hartley. And the combined, those two pieces are $3,500, and Wayne's offer is at $2,500. I'll do $3,000 for you, Wayne. For the pair. And you were at $3,500 for the pair after you've already discounted your 3A artwork. So we owe 3000 back to Wayne if you'd like them both. All right. Next up is yeah, going 3, to be... Yeah, um, Okay. Well, and then you did get an offer. If Wayne doesn't take that, Richard Donnelly is offering you 550 on the Hartley, which, of course, you are at $700. So 
So that is out there as well. I'm going to give uh, Wayne a chance to respond before I take any. Oh, he passed. Yep, Wayne has passed. So do you want to take Rich up on his 550? Okay, uh, Rich, I need 600 on that splash. 600. All right, so uh, Anthony is dropping his 3A Al Hartley to 600. And uh, let me see here. And Anand has made you an offer of $1,200 on the Epting, which is on the screen. You were at All right, Anand, let's do that. At 1200 I can do that with you. And I still uh, have your other stuff going. So let's do that. Thank you, Anand. All right, Anand has picked that one up. So 5A goes for $1,200. Customer, he's building a pile and gotten some good value Covering in those walls with art. Yeah, and Rich no. has countered you on the uh, Hartley at back to 575 to your 600. Split the difference with you. Oh my God. I started that at like 850, didn't I? 750. No, 850. You did start at 850. 850. I guess I was optimistic. All right, let's do 575. I was counted at 500 in the other deal that. Well, All right. So Rich Donnelly is getting the 3A Al Hartley for 575. And uh, Anthony, let's see, you did get an offer on the Magnolia at $2,000 from uh, William Book. Uh, right, I found it at 25 before. I'm going to do 2250 Am I going to do 2250 nah, I mean, That's I lower know. than 2800 was your sticker price on it, but. Uh, yeah. Oh, 28 That was where you were starting it at. 28. Yeah. It's up to you. We got to move on. Well, right now, I'm going to put it out there. 20, uh, 2,400. 2,400. All Green, right. So you, you wanted a 24? Your, so 2,400 on your 9B. That's the uh, current price. All right. So next up is going to be uh, now that we're, I've been snidered here a little bit. It's my, it's, but it's I all snidered in myself. Yes, exactly. So next up is. The Lieber Mayo, your 5B, you're at $1,500 on this one. Anthony. I'll do twelve fifty on this one just to get this out of the way. so cool, this, though. This is the guy I got this from. Uh, he said he spent $1,500 on it. Twelve fifty, twelve fifty for this one. Wow. All right. Now, this Cosmic Odyssey controversy, look at this. Dark side and arrogant. Large art by the Mignola. With the All right. So I just want to be sure you're sticking at 1250 on the Bermejo, correct? Yes. All right. 1250. So your 6A did sell to Comic Art Boston. That was the Bagley piece. So next up. I do not have an unlimited supply. I got this on Sunday. This was new to me. Very new to me. 6B is up now, though. 6B is up. The Paul Gulacy. Dr. I was heavy himself. with the villains tonight. I was chilling like a villain, like this villain. Bill wants this for the back of his wall. He wants to stare at him, stare at his back, and ward off any evil back sticker honors. Yeah, I need somebody watching my back. <laughs> so what's your best price on this one? Six. Uh, what do we got? Five, 18 is four, a good price on it. Let's three, do uh, 1775. No, let's do sixteen fifty. Sixteen fifty for a Glacy cover. Oh my God, that's good. What about sixteen twenty-five? Are you gonna go down anymore, Mr. Anthony? So, no secrets on the show. So what's is sixteen fifty your best price, Anthony? Oh, come on. Sixteen hundred, guys. Sixteen hundred for a Dr. Ooh, Doom cover. More than twenty-five down. Somebody All wants right. to buy it for Bill. So sixteen hundred dollars for Anthony's six B artwork. Next up, seven A. Seven A. How about Mike? You wanted it's got a Christmas snow theme of Dr. Doom. Yeah, I pass. Okay, thank you, Mike. That was very, very, uh, a lot of energy and positivity, uh, port, uh, port now. Let's talk about this art, this Arvel Jones. All right, Arvel Jones, one of the uh, first uh, African American artists at Marvel, right? And uh, and he was doing best price, though, Anthony. What do you oh, look at all that Modoc, Fif so cool. 1500. All that Modoc. 
15? Yeah, 15. Wow. Modoc. This is incredible. All right, $1,500 is Anthony's best price on his 7A Arbel Jones. You're right about that, bronze is gold. Next up, 7B. All right, so we got the uh, X-Men Elsh. It's John got a Modoc on it, too. Modoc as well. Oh, Modoc. And what is your best price, Anthony? What do you want to do on this one, Bill? 18? <gasps> Large art John Byrne pencils of a what? super close-up of the Modoc and other John Byrne 1500 his aim guys and it's got an eyeball and somebody's <laughs> eyeball who do they got <laughs> good question so 1800 oh, it's, uh, it's an it's uh it's um who's the one that goes through walls there she is kitty kitty that's kitty yeah she's stuck in a phase you know, she's phasing through the floor. Just like most teenagers. Right? Oh, right. <laughs> Ten so, year phase uh -huh. of aggravatableness. So, best price, oh, that's, 1800 That's Kitty's, Kitty's eye. And there's Kitty phasing through the uh, floor. Wow. Look at that. Anthony, you wow. haven't answered me. I've uh, I've asked you twice. Oh. Three times now. What is, is 1800 your best price on that page? 1775 it was a very good year. All right, seventeen seventy-five for Anthony's John Byrne Elswen page seven B. So next up, eight A. All right. Oh, oh no, that sold already. That's the wrong one. Yeah, that's uh, the eight A, not the eight B. But I can find it. I can highlight it here. It is. Boom. We got a published. There it is. We got the published card art by Bob Larkin. Guys, these are these are at a premium. <laughs> Seen these go for lots of money. So Bob Larkin from '96 of, the, of uh, that version of the Vulture, and let's do 1800. Stanley, we're working on actually tomorrow. I'm going to work on my editor to fix the uh, Marvel exhibit uh, video. Thank you for asking. All right, so 1800, 1775. Okay, seventeen seventy-five. We got to get these prices out sooner, though, Anthony. Okay. Yeah. Can't get, can't do it at the at yeah, the buzzer. Baby. All right, seventeen seventy-five for each. Anthony's seven B and eight A. So eight B sold to Comic Card Boston. Next up is nine A on the screen. Look at that, a Joe Staten vintage signature. Look at that old signature, nineteen eighty Green Lantern. Not that far from one of the most significant storylines in the history of comics. Uh, I'll do 2800 I'm tight on this one. I got to be. This is premium stuff. Unlimited. You know, round 10 stuff. Round 9 and 10. All right. So best price was that? $27.75. $27.75. All right. That is a nice one. All right. So next up, 9B. You already dropped this one to $2,400. All right, that's it. All right, we did that. We had an offer earlier at two thousand, and some mixed offers there as well. But uh, so uh, twenty four hundred is your best price on this. Oh, where is it? On the very last Cosmic Odyssey. It's the last, page. last, 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 last. I actually do have one stashed away that I liked, where uh, Metron was confronting the edge of the universe. But uh, maybe that'll come up again. All right, twenty four hundred. Uh, all right twenty four hundred dollars on the 9b next up 10a what do we got on 10a it's the john byrne tom palmer if you like it you know there was only kitty on that other page but this is just full of john byrne x-men yep thirty eight hundred you got it out so fast i'm proud of you oh uh, 38 that's five hundred dollars less than that other one. I he saw. can be trained, Sharon. He can. He did it. <laughs> yep. Since nineteen ninety-five, been training as a good husband. I'm still in training, but that's the secret to a good marriage. You got to keep evolving. You got to keep, you know, mm -hmm. tolerating. You got to keep evolving. Sharon, you're a saint. <laughs> She's the same. Come All on. Right. 30, 
for everything she is, I've kept her this way since ninety five. Oh, you've kept her. You, it's almost like you've kept her in a you know in a whole backyard in the backyard. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I've she, kept her this way. She has the freedom to do anything she wants on it. All right, so eight. Right, so let's say thirty eight hundred was the best price on your ten A. So next up, your final piece by Don Heck and Sal Buscema. Wow. I'm tired on this one too. Uh, I mean, forty-seven fifty. Uh, this is this is too hard to come by. This kind of, these kind of pages of the Black Widow, all Black Widow. Those Basema Sinet ones and oh, wow. Yeah, heck, Black Widow. I actually thought this was all heck. Ah, what the heck? 40... I was just gonna say that. Come on, what the heck? Forty-seven. <laughs> 47 right. that's a good deal. 40 $700. Jones, don't talk about lotion unless you got some. All right, $4,700 $4, is Anthony's that. best price on his 10V. And he was at, uh, and what were you at? You were at 3800 on the other John Byrne. I just watched yeah, the movie during that 40 minute recap. Hey, and most of that, no, that was, was a lot of that was my fault, Mike. I apologize, oh. everybody. Oh, hey, he just got an offer on his heck. Uh, oh, there it was. It was uh, Drake is offering you 3k on the page you were at $4,700 on. Yeah, no, thank you. All right, so you're sticking at your, your uh, 37 or 4,700. Sorry, yeah. All right, Mike, I'll do 45 tonight. Okay, forty five hundred is Anthony's best price on his ten B. Heck of a page by Don Heck and Salvi Sema. Amazing Adventures, Black Widow. All right, Mike, let's get you started here, sir. And now we know you're one A sold. That one had like six claims on it. In I the know. First five wow, seconds. that old ghost rider, that little devil right there. Wow. Yeah. Yep. Yep. And uh, you get you got a thirty five hundred dollar offer from Marcus Way though on the uh, on the Heck page, Anthony. Just so you know. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna stick at 45. All right, all right, oh, Mike, let's get you 50 more. Yeah, that's it. Okay, all right, those amazing so... adventure pages are too hard, they just don't come up that much. Here we go, Mike. Okay, folks, really cool. Gray Morrow, you know what? I'm gonna lower this to three and a quarter. First issue, Lois Lane from 1986. It's Gray Morrow pencil and inks. I love the way he. Yeah, even use craft tip and everything on the bottom. Lois Lane in every panel in the Daily Planet. Very, very cool. Lois Lane, number one from 1986. 36 years old. Are you kidding me? But Lois Lane and her editor and the, and the other girl. Uh, what I say on that, Bill? You know, I missed it because I was reading something else when you said That's okay. You know what, folks? Listen, first issue. I'll do 300 bucks. Very cool, 36-year-old pencils and inks. Gray Morrow page, 300 bucks from the story When It Rains, God is Crying. All beautiful, right. Three, beautiful page. Lois Lane is in just about every panel. So 300 on Mike's 1B. So next up is this 2A Beauty by Phil Hester. Phil Hester, very, very cool. I'll go uh, for, uh, 400 bucks. Really nice Batman, Strange Love number one. Bill Hester and Eric Gapster. Uh, and we have a claim on the 1B. All right. Thank you, Patrick. Uh, this one, very cool, where Batman, big spread. That's Batman at the top. Big spread of Batman there. Big spread of Bat Batman here. Big Batman here. Big Batman in every panel as he's hunting out the Riddler. You know what? I'll go 350. As a matter of fact, I will go 350 on this. It's almost, it's almost like a semi-splash page, but... Batman in every panel hunting the Riddler from the story titled Dinner for Two as Batman hunts out the Riddler on Valentine's Day. 350, right. folks. Thank you to Patrick Nagel Arts for picking Patrick, up the Patrick gets one B. We appreciate that. And you, uh, Mike's best price on his 2A is 350. So next up, 2B, the artwork we see on the screen. Matter of fact, folks, I'll go three and a quarter on this. Bill asked, so I got to deduct the 25 bucks. Three, three and a quarter. <laughs> The power I wield. Over wow, the, the amazing Billy Cox. Wow. Yeah. Down here in uh, Florida. Florida. I love this splash page of Supergirl all over it. Uh, I'll do four and a quarter. 
Really nice Supergirl number nine. This is from 2012. Beautiful splash page as she's saving the silver banshee from the black banshee. Are you kidding me? And it's pencil and inks and wash tones added. And I love the published image Bill is shown on the right. Really nice. So it's a 425, Mike. Bill, for tonight, since for whatever reason you, you didn't let me sign in. Wait, so we got to claim. We got to claim. We got to claim it. Okay, uh, got from, it. All right. Jeff Aaron. All right. I was going to say, I'm throwing in a bag with this one. You're going to throw in a bag. Maybe we can get uh, Anthony to send a portfolio out to Jeff as well. I'm only kidding, Anthony. That's only for your sales. What do you want? Portfolios for everybody. No. <laughs> I know. I'm just kidding. I'm just yeah. Kidding. I'm just kidding. Thank all right. So that one's sold. Thank you, Jeff, very much. So next up, 3A, Mike. Right now, folks, it's the only one that hasn't sold, Bill. What's my price on? I got to go lower to get them all sold. You were at 325 on it. Folks, just because of Bill said that, I can't believe it. I'll go 300 on this one tonight only. That's the last one. 300. Yeah, Batman 300 in every point. panel hunting for the Riddler. Wow. Really? Okay. Uh. The Batman, uh, I'll do uh, uh, 600 bucks. Pencils and inks in the 1980s by the great Dick Giordano. Done on 70s and 80s uh, DC stock board. Right there, DC Comics Incorporated book. And there's the stamp. It was published. I don't know what was published in, but it was published. All right. Well, Comics, Comics Argo is claiming the uh, Giordano uh, Batman page. You were at 600, if I, right, Mike? The last right, yep. Just wanted to make sure I got that right. All right, comics are go. Nice pickup there. That's a good one. I love it. Got you know, funny story. I hate to, right before I hate to say it, it was. Oh, what, what, well, you know, he did a he actually said he had a mistype. Sorry, what? Uh, yes, he said he has a mistype. <laughs> oh, but anyway, uh, right before like about three months before, uh, uh, Rich, I'll do 575. But right before uh, Dick Giordano passed, I bought like 30 pinups from him through his agent. And I go, none of them are signed. He didn't sign any of them. I go, can I please send them all back and get him to sign them all? And he goes, sure. So he had Dick Giordano uh, sign them all. And then I hate to say it, he passed away like a month later. So. Uh, well, you got a 550 offer from. Uh, back- I'll, I'll tell you what, folks. The first 575 gets it. The first 575 gets it. I think it's a great piece. The first no, 575 gets it since I thought we had it sold at 600. Nope, I do agree. All right, well, 550 is where he's at. Anthony's uh, has let everybody know he's at 4200 4, as his low water mark on the uh, deck as well. All right, so 575 on 3A for Mike. We got 3B next. Okay. Uh, or, well, let's, let's skip ahead. Hang on, hang on. Uh, was the guilt came before? Yeah, let me get the 3B. They can't see okay, everything. Okay, Rich agreed to the 575. All right, and I can highlight that one there. So 575 to Thanks, Rich. Rich. Right now, folks, every piece is sold except this one. Every piece is sold. I lowered that from 450 to 300. Batman yep. and every panel. Okay. All right, well, we haven't talked about the one we got up here. So uh, turn it over, though, Mike. Turn it over. There we go. Just so you know, it looks just like the splash that John Carter won, and he drew this in 77 or 78. Right after the, the book came out. Are you kidding me? This is a very historic, very cool piece. Oh, oh, my price. Not gonna. Um, yes. Uh, I said I was gonna go 900, so I forgot. I'll do 875. 875. All right. Mike is at 875 for the Gil Kane. On the back of a Gil Kane. 70s Marvel poster. 875. And it's pencils and inks and marker by the great Gil Kane. All right. 875 on the 3B from Mike. So next up, 4A. That was the drill. Bill, Bill oh. just for tonight, I'll do 850 on this one. So oh, all right. So, only, 850. so 850 is the only two that haven't sold so far. 850 and 300. All right. 850 on Mike's 3B. Now the 4A. Yeah, this is a nice one. 10 heroes on it. Published splash. I'll go 900. Uh Dan Jurgen signed at the bottom two, inked by the great Joe Rubenstein. Really, really nice piece here. And, uh, God, I, I had one I think I sold for 800 on a show, and it was paneled from a couple years ago. 
full splash celebrating the, the decade of the 1940s. Ten heroes, Robin, the Adam, Dr. Light, Supergirl, Batman, Gangbuster, Superman, Black Lightning, Plastic Man, and Wonder Woman. Full splash published from 1999, 23 years old. Wow. And your best price on this one? Uh, Bill, doggone it tonight. Tonight only. Don't come next week and say I saw it on the show. Eight fifty. Eight fifty. Full splash. You get everybody. Wow. All right. Eight fifty. Everything is art except this little parade. thing right there. This is a little stat they added on it. But everything is art other than that. Very, very <laughs> really, nice. Really, really nice DC splash from before the year two thousand. And it tells you all the stuff on the back about how it got processed and approved. The dates, the artists, the book, everything. Sorry. All right. 850 on that one. So next up's your 4B, the Ed Bennis infamous number six cover. Ed Bennis, you know, I'm going to cut to the chase on this. I can't believe it. This is a DC cover now, folks. I'm going to go down to 1,000. Ed Bennis pencils and uh, George Gonzalez inks from 2011. This is 11 years old. Last issue to the book, Infamous, which was a which was a famous video game of the time, uh, where Cole McGrath faces Kessler's horrific creation, a giant monstrosity. Boy, he almost looks like the abomination Bane's little brother. Very nice, thousand bucks published. Ed Bennis DC cover, battle cover. All right, $1,000 on this one from Ed Bennis and uh, the infamous number six cover. So that's, that was, Mike. that's Mike's 4B. Now, both 5A and 5B did sell, so we're going to go over to 6A. Hey, next. Mike, what the heck, Bill? I'm sorry. I'll go 950 before the end of the show. Yeah, these heroes at Marcus Way, these heroes are promoting the stamps. Not that they were around back then. They're just promoting the stamps. The elongated <laughs> man, probably all but a few of them weren't around in the 40s. Right. But I get what you mean. Okay, Eric Larson, really nice. I will knock off 200 bucks. Beautiful Eric Larson Batman with phenomenal backgrounds on 11 by 17 inch artboard. Batman standing on top of a gargoyle statue. How awesome is that on Gotham City? Look at the building backgrounds and the moon. Look at the craters. Wow. Full body shot of Batman. Great image. Great, great, great image by the great Eric Larson. Full commission piece. Phenomenal backgrounds, shall we say? And what's the best price and what year was it done, Mike? Uh, I don't know of a year because it's not dated. Uh, but it's pencils, inks, and markers. I said thirteen hundred. You know what, folks? I will do twelve fifty before the end of the show. Twelve fifty. <coughs> All 12. right. So 1250 here is Mike's best cool. price on that one. So next up is the Mike Grell Green Lantern unused cover pencils from uh from sometime Man, in the I love this piece. This is 6B. It's done on, on the detail on this piece. Is, uh uh I'll, I'll go fourteen hundred. I know as soon as I put it up for sales. Again, it's done on nineteen seventies DC stock board, but it got cut. The image even got cut, but really, really nice. Uh fourteen hundred. Mike Grell, nineteen seventies. Green Lantern for a proposed cover. The only reason I know is because my guy got uh, got this from Grell in Atlanta, Atlanta, whatever they used to call those Fantasticons. He got it from Grell in 77 or 78 uh, from him. And what was the price on this one you're going to go with, Mike? Uh, we're going to go 1300 all right, thirteen hundred is Mike's best price on a six B. Mike, I did want you to, you to know that uh, Robert has gone ahead and picked up the John okay. Carter page at forty five hundred dollars. Uh, let's see, let's go to. Thank you very much, Robert. I said Robert. Somebody, I said that that great pinup. I'm just saying that great pinup. The guy that bought this bought that at the same exact time. Uh, the uh, this pinup. The guy that bought the page room bought this. Got this done. At the same exact time. I thought they would go good together, but really. All right. Really Thank you, Robert, for that one. So much. All right. So, Fish picked up your 7A. Next up is your 7B artwork. And that was the Neil Adams Spider Man Toy Biz. Oh, this is good. Art. The card art piece. Yeah. This is 11 by 14. I have 1,800 on it. I'll go 1,600 for tonight only. 11 by 14. And again, it's the exact image that's on the back of the card there of the Spider Man toy. I action figure and uh 
Then you get, of course, get the so you get two Neil Adams signatures. Wow, you get two Neil Adams signatures on it. But eleven by fourteen, it takes them almost the whole thing. Two buy the great Neil Adams pencils and inks and certificates. Sixteen hundred, folks. Really nice piece. All right, Mike. Sixteen hundred, best price on this one. Yep. Yeah. All right, it's a beauty. Oh, uh, you know what? I'll do just because. Wait, dear. Oh, here. Yeah. Okay, I'll do fifteen fifty before the end of the show. Fifteen fifty on this. All right, fifteen fifty for Mike Seven B. Anthony did get an Look offer the on the. Anthony has got an offer on his Cosmic Odyssey page at twenty two hundred dollars from Comic Art Boston. Anthony, you were at twenty four hundred dollars. I'll do look. I'll do the first twenty three hundred on Cosmic Odyssey, and I'll do the first four thousand on the Heck page. But you just said forty seven hundred was your lowest. Well, he he was going down in the chat. He was already. I, know, I was watching. I'm just was like forty one fifty. Just goes to show you how flexible me and Anthony are. I don't think anybody lowers prices like me and Anthony do. That's why this show works, folks. Yep. Absolutely. Why... Good for you. All right, so Anthony's at twenty three hundred on his nine B and four thousand on his ten B. Yep, and fifteen fifty right. on this, folks. Really good piece. Comic right. Art Comic Boston Art. bought it for Anthony. Yep. Congratulations to Comic Art Boston and Anthony. Nice uh, pickup there for. Congrats! Thank you, Comic Art Boston, making the stack, making the stack. That's well. That's three pickups from him tonight from you. Fantastic. All right, Mike. So back over to you. Yeah, so 1550 15, on this one. On the Neil Adams, yep. And uh, let's see, what do we got next? After that is the Dick Dillon World oh, Finest nice Comic Splashy ish page. Two half splashes AK. combined to make one semi splash. Wow. Uh, I'll do it. I'll do uh, 1800 on this. Man, it doesn't get much better than that. Look at Superman. Are you kidding me? Look at that. And then at the bottom, he gives the guy a barrel chest right into his body. Really nice. This is 51 years old from the story titled Meet the Tempter and Die. As Superman battles the evil Venmore and Rebku. Wow. Get a load of that published piece there. So, wow. That really, is really, really cool. Piece. How much should I say on that, Bill? Uh, you're at 1800 Mike. Uh, I'll, I'll do 1750 I'll do 1750 before the end of the show. All right, Man, seventeen fifty. Better than that, folks. For then Mike, uh, eight year AR. Old. Wow. All right, we got three more pieces to look at here. Oh, uh, that's sold. One, that one did sell. Yes, it did to uh, Steve Crow. So three next more up, to go, folks. The three a. big boys. The three big boys. Steve Lytle, X Factor. Steve Lytle, man, this is a doozy. How many times you get hero team battling hero team? X Factor battles the Avengers in this one. I will go to twenty three fifty on this one. You got Jean Grey and and all the all the top four panels. You got Cyclops in all the top five panels, I should say. Marvel Girl in the top five panels. Marvel Girl top five panels. Cyclops and Iceman. Then an awesome Fatum where Thor appears to battle. Why are you here, Thor? What do you want with us? As the hammer yeah, comes back. So great, great, great page. Twenty. Tw matter of fact, I'll do tw what I say, Bill. Twenty three hundred. You said, you said twenty three fifty, actually. I'll do twenty three hundred. All right, twenty three hundred dollars. This is Lytle pencils and inks, nineteen eighty eight. This is thirty four years old. Steve Lytle pencil and inks. And Rich is asking about your best price on the Grell. I know you were at thirteen hundred dollars, Mike. That was Rich, I'll do twelve fifty. I'll do twelve fifty on the on the Grell Green Lantern. First person that gets it. All right. Like I said, that was actually an unused cover he did in the seventies. So. All right. So twenty three hundred on the nine A Steve Lytle X Factor. Twenty three hundred. Next up, nine B. Nine B. Oh, now this one, like I said, this is a pre crisis crisis splash. Chapter splash, are you kidding me with every hero? I have 37 on this. I'll do 3400 Just so you know, I took this at $3,800 in, in a deal a couple weeks ago at Columbus. But I'll do 3400 on it. Dick Dillon Inc. by Frank McLaughlin from the story titled Crisis from Yesterday. Superman, Hawk, 1978. Superman, Hawkman, Elongated Man. 
the Just Society, Star Spangled Kid, Dr. Midnight Hunter, Star Spangled Kid, and the Earth 2 Wonder Woman crashing Earth 1 Wonder Woman's plane. How fitting a woman crashes her vehicle. Anyway, as they battle the Viking Prince and the Black Pirate That's at the bottom. That's not fair, Mike. That's not fair. But so $3,400, best price $3, on that one. $3,400 on this one. As everybody, and when are you going to find the Viking Prince and uh, the Black Pirate? Golden Age not too often, not too often. But hey, Rich Donnelly did pick up the grill. Yes, at, I saw uh, that. 1250 That was your 6A. $1,250, yes. All right. So let's see. So that one in your hands at $3,400. And the 3, final, final artwork of the Read one. Wait, wait, wait. Real quick. Merciful Minerva. I can't turn away in time. I'm not accustomed to the Earth One Planes controls. Yeah, right, Wonder Woman. Don't lie. Oh, boy. They're going to UG crash. Anyway. All right. Next up, last piece. I'm your... teasing. Women have better, better insurance rates than guys because they drive safer. Usually when they're not putting makeup on and drive. Jim okay, anyway. Starlin, Marvel Starlin. graphic novel. Uh, I'll do sixteen five on this. Uh, I, I again, I took it. I took it high, high, high on my deal uh, in Columbus. Oh my! Looking again. Anyway, beautiful, beautiful Starlin written, Starlin penciled, Starlin ink. This hasn't been touched up in any way, shape, or form. Signed by Jim Starlin. Arguably one of the most classic 1980s, historic, I should say, 1980s stories. 40 years old. This is like the, the third to last page where Captain Marvel is still alive. Captain Marvel in seven panels, Drax in eight panels, Moon Dragon in a few panels, Rick Jones in a panel. Uh, the third to last page, Captain Marvel is still alive. So there you go. Yep, and uh, so sixteen thousand five hundred is best price on that one, Mike. Uh, you know what? I'll go sixteen on it. All right, sixteen thousand are available, of course. Of course, yeah. Well, I tried. I actually worked that into the intro today. Time payments are always available for everybody. Uh, you just have to ask and work that out with each dealer. So, and uh, as I've highlighted here, Larry has picked up the Don Heck. Amazing Adventures, Black Widow, awesome page from Anthony at four thousand oh. dollars. Bill, Thank what you, is that Larry. Four B and seven B. Uh, let's see. So yeah, offer over here from Kelly to Mike. That was on the four B, which was the Bennis cover at nine fifty, and the, then the seven B was the Neil Adams. So at fifteen fifty. So at the moment, you were at twenty five hundred dollars even, and Kelly is offering you twenty two hundred dollars for the pair. Kelly, I'll tell you what, Kelly, if you can go twenty three hundred, I'll do that for the pair. So it was this one. Oh, okay. Yeah, the Neil Adams and the uh, Ed Bennis Infamous Six yeah. cover. Hey, I'll do twenty three. Oh no, Bill, what's popping? And they're up over back here? again. Only twice tonight, though. Only twice. Yeah, I'll do twenty three hundred on those for you. All That's right. So, We're knocking off. I'm knocking off two hundred more dollars on top of what we had already discussed. So, yep. And Kelly has agreed to that deal. Twenty three hundred dollars, and that's All for right. the four B and the seven B. So twenty three hundred dollars for those two. I still have a few more. If anybody wants to, still have a few more pieces, folks. Sorry, I'm trying to make sure I get all my notes. Oh, yeah, do your updates. <laughs> Uh, very nice pickup, Kelly. Congratulations on that offer being accepted as well. Thank you. So I think that puts Mike at about 12 sales right now. If that added another 23, so Mike would be at $14,300. And I'll wait till I get confirmation on the... Yeah. Uh, Any more sales for either of us folks on the sides? Yeah. We're here. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, I've two, got Anthony with four. eight sales, though. I don't know if it's counting the. They didn't count the uh, the Don Heck yet. Yeah, so I I sold fourteen out of twenty, folks. I only have six left, and they're all great ones. Batman, these Batman splash, the DC splash. You sold twelve out of twenty, Mike. Just you know. Oh, I still have eight. What are the other two? Okay, okay, I have thirteen that I sold, but uh, I forgot about the little Batman. I'm surprised his Green Lantern didn't go. That was a nice one. I would agree. Well, it's only 300 bucks, folks. Batman in every panel, $300. Are you kidding me? 
Look at those spreads of Batman all over it, leaping in there and leaping in there. One. Kitty two. eye. And so like X-Men, right, Bill? Three. Sorry? Oh, with the kitty eye? Yeah. Four. The Joes. Five. I was worried I was leaving again. Six, she, I was unpacking and seven, she crawled into my suitcase. Oh. Doesn't want mommy to leave. I don't either. What? I get grumpy. Unless I messed up, Bill. I have 13 sold. but uh, I think you I messed up. up. But that's okay. We can always double check things after we're all done. Okay. How is uh, Lacey still here? So, uh, Anthony, Larry is offering you uh, $2,200 for the uh, Joe Staten Green Lantern, if you're up for that. Where did I leave off on that? You stopped at 2775 25 25 Larry. We've done a lot of business. Let's go. 25 That's a good one. 2500 for the Joe State. All right, so Mike's dropping. All right, Mike. Anthony's dropping his nine eight at twenty five hundred dollars. And you know, me and you can work it out when we we uh we are very equitable in our deals. We can work it out, Larry. All right. Well, I'm not sure. Uh, I I know Mike's stuff is accurate. I th I think Anthony's missing a sale, okay. but you know we'll have to cross check a few things here. Okay. Yeah, so I uh, throw thirteen sales, but no matter. Like I said, Mike, we'll check oh, we these got, afterwards. Yeah. Okay, I've got enough. 12 here and Glenn's got 12. So I think okay. we're two versus one, I think. is. So what's the final tally? Yeah, but yeah, hey, right? let me go ahead and let's talk about what the, everybody needs to do if they want any artwork tonight. If you've yeah. claimed any artworks, please don't wait till tomorrow. Email both of these gentlemen this evening. Let them know which artworks you've claimed. And, of course, include your mailing Blanders. address and YouTube handle. So that, Always uh, full address. Everything yeah. tell. Got to make it easy to get them uh, to send their, those invoices back to you pronto. So get those out tonight. And uh, we certainly appreciate all the uh, the sales this evening. It was a lot of fun. I, I do apologize for the uh, delay there right before we got the recap started. That was on me. But I'm, in, I'm interested to go out and see if my front lawn has been turfed by a bunch of ATVs. You know, so, I'm going to start letting Anthony have the first six rounds every show. I'm just teasing. Well, we went really fast up until that oh, point. Go until Anthony's recap, yeah. Well, it was my fault on the recap because I know you're time. worried about lawnmowers in your front yard in the middle of the night. Man, hey, if you could have heard it, I know you couldn't hear <laughs> really? it. Somebody, it was, pretty, it was seriously crazy. I mean, I, you know, they were texting me that they were a little scared. I mean, I probably should have went wow. out and seen what was going on. I mean, it, it was that loud, guys. I mean, it was really make sure really it's loud. not an earthquake down there in Florida. That would be it's a not an earthquake. It's uh, yeah. So at any rate, um. Well, we'll we'll double check everything, of course, and cross check everything. But Mike, I guess we should play your uh, winning a winning oh. meme for you, shouldn't we? Man, I haven't had a winning Anthony's kick, but I haven't had a winning meme in a long time. Winning after another dueling dealer victory over Anthony Schneider, Hulk like to relax and put on his Hulk cologne. Hulk cologne. This smells incredible. <laughs> oh boy, he's getting to wear some cologne for the first time. Uh, uh -huh. Hulk finally smelled good. <laughs> it smells incredible. Ah. Oh, Bill, you got to tell everybody about our next show. We're doing it went Saturday, right? Well, let's talk about that first, okay? Let's talk about that. I want to. I want to clear some stuff up first. So Anand is asking Anthony about that uh, Bermejo too, and that was Anthony's five B, and you were at twelve fifty. Anthony, on that piece. Yes, that one. Anthony, you're muted. Yes, we can't hear you at all. Yeah, because I was cussing about uh, winning meme already. Where's my number? I'm covering it up at the moment. Yeah. You're 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 behind at the moment. But anyways, uh, 1100, 1123. Well, anonymous offered my you. last sale. Anand just offered you the 1100. All right, 1100. Let's do it. All right. So Anand has picked that one up. And, uh, and uh, what else you got? So you were, at, uh, you were offered, on this. Well, you were offered $2,200 on it, I think. All right, 23. That's it. Let's go. You, Boom. Uh, Add it for next week's show. All right. That's Larry. <laughs> all right, Larry. Uh, Larry, Larry now what's my number? 
Dude, All I right, can't. folks, we'll see you next week. No, <laughs> no, no. Oh, yeah, Bill already I called 4, it. 4,000. That's and post show sales now, 12, baby. 1,100. We'll, we'll, we'll double check everything 20, in the green room after this is all over. And after I've had a chance to walk around my front yard, I'm proud uh, of you. Yeah, Bill has to make sure he still has a house. Exactly. Zero. Congratulations folks, on that one, Larry. But folks, uh, we might be doing a sale on Saturday, not next Wednesday. It's a, it's a possibility, but Saturday. we're going to talk about it. Well, I'll let everybody know tomorrow night on the couch. Oh, you know, thanks, everybody. I Love just you. won. Love you, everybody. What's going on here? I got 15 yeah, too. Adding is not your fourth day, Anthony. Come on. All right, guys. Let we'll add it all up. And, Backtrack. Uh, thank you for tuning in tonight. If we have to correct something, we certainly will. I got 15 too. Send out send your emails. Make sure your address is in your emails. Good night, everybody. Thanks for what tuning in. Good night.